Mabel, she's a little mouthy. She won't like bite oh, you. Okay. I mean, I she fit, I put my whole arm in. Welcome back to another episode of Only Fians with your host Karen Elizabeth Fian. <laughs> Mabel's joining us today, and from his group Zarface, he has a new album out right now called Zartificial Intelligence. Please welcome Esso to the Only Fians podcast. Thank you, thank you for having me. Mabel's welcoming you. Look at her. Hi. What a fucking whore. <laughs> it's unreal. Mabel, calm down. Oh, oh my Mabel. God. She's madly. Yeah, well, do you want her? I do want her. I do. <laughs> I, we have, uh, she smells pepper and rock, rocket on me. Yep. Can you, I, Wait, what's rocket? Rocket is a dog. Oh. One of my dogs. <laughs> I thought it was a new kind of meth. <laughs> yeah, I have, hey, I, calm down. Yeah, Mabel, I have, I have calm down. Crystal meth on me. Wait, I'm just casual. You have a dog named Rocket? Yeah. Oh, let's talk about Rocket. Oh, we can talk about Rocket. We can talk about Pepper. We can talk about Mabel. And the, uh, Rocket and Pepper, those are your two dogs? Yes. Yeah. What kind of dogs are they? Well, Rocket is part hound, part pit bull, part Dalmatian, part golden retriever, part oh, coon wow. hound. Uh, you we can't did call the, him uh, that anymore. We did the, uh, you can't call him what? Coon hound. Coon hound. Oh, okay. So, so yeah. So, you can say it to Mabel. She's black. Embark, uh, embark DNA. Uh, you did one of those DNA did, things? Yeah. Wow. You know, and they could just spin the wheel and make it up. But yes. I like the peace of mind knowing what part of, of Rocket made him such a dud of a dog. Oh, even the Dalmatian? Even the Dalmatian just exists right into here. So, there are He's little spots, spots there. Yeah. But everything else, beautiful dog, but he doesn't do much to the point where we thought it would be a good idea to adopt another dog who was Pepper, and now she's more than we can handle. Pepper is, is a lethal weapon. and uh, <clears throat> What is Pepper mix? What's, what's Pepper, she tur- she, we did the Embark with her too, and she came back as 100% lab, but oh. her paws are white. She's got some white markings here and Mabel's there. Mabel's paws are white. I noticed that, yeah. I noticed that. I think they might be related. Where is yeah. she from? Tennessee. Oh, you don't say. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Pepper's from Tennessee. Really? Pepper, yeah, and so is Rocket. I, every every rescue every dog stray is dog? from Tennessee. Is it from, are they? Well, I don't know. Did you see uh, Mabel when she was born? No. She could be from Cuba. She could be from, you don't know. She was eight months when I got oh, her. Oh, really? What, what organization did you rescue get her? Rescue City. Rescue City. Sounds okay. like Party City for dogs. It, it does. So she's, uh, she's, she's a rescue from Rescue City. That's, nobody wanted they her. They spent a lot of time with that name. No. <laughs> <laughs> Nobody fucking wanted her. Yeah, I, 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 I want her. Uh, babe, I want you, Mabel. It's crazy how about she's just in yeah, love with you. She's a hand. Well, I, I wish I, she jo- probably... I have to send this to Joe List because. Oh, Joe List, yeah. He's a good friend of mine, but he's a real. I mean, oh. Mabel, Whoa. chill. <laughs> she's too intense. Uh, Calm this down. Is... This is exactly what Pepper does at home. Really? And, yeah, and, and she tries to get into my stomach, and yes. I have to tell her, reminder, you did not come from my stomach. Right. You know, but you're a that, dog. Uh, yeah. I mean, you know, <laughs> <laughs> it, it's just one of those things where she just goes right there, and it's, it's all, all I could think about is is her trying to get back to where she came from, and it's not. Nicole, should I put her in my room? I think uh, let's. Uh, she can stay here if you can handle this. I can handle this. Okay. This is like a, a daily. All right. If you're happy. I used to. Uh, you know, I, I work with dogs. I used to dog, walk dogs. I, really? I've been around dogs my whole life. Yeah. Yeah. And you can snap and growl and all that stuff. That's really scary. <laughs> She's obsessed. Yeah. <laughs> She's obsessed. She's so this into is, you. Yeah. I am, I'm into her. It's making I'm me into jealous. Her. She's beautiful. Look at she her. is beautiful. Hey, don't be so mouthy. You can't. Now, now, what is, I wouldn't call her that. Now, what is this? Doggy shusher. All right, one of these fucking idiot Instagram people were like, we'll give you a free one of these if you make a video. Okay. And it's supposed to have a calming effect on the dog. Yeah. If you twist it, it'll start working. Uh, I don't want to. I don't want to calm Mabel. No, She's in a good place. It right doesn't now. work. That's why they haven't received their promo video yet. Oh, okay. Be- because it's like it's ma- basically. I don't know if they recorded a human doing it, but it's just like shh, shh, shh. Oh. shh. Yeah, maybe it does. It's not like the season will launch. It's no, no, a, no. Shh, okay. It's like, shh, shh. I guess it does work. I, <laughs> That's I what this is? <laughs> this is. I mean, you have your promo right there. I don't know if it's very compelling, but... Clip it, it, Nicole? <laughs> because they've been asking me. 
They've been sending me a lot of emails. Wow. Where's your promo video, Ms. Fian? You're supposed to make a shusher video. I mean, and I, I'm I like, think I could pull that off. I was like, well, I tried using it when Mabel had a French bulldog in her mouth, but nothing would calm her. <laughs> nothing would calm her. Huh, Mabel? Oh, French bulldog. Yeah, you, you tried to maim the French bulldog. She hates French oh, bulldogs. Boy. Well, so, okay. Okay. Let's talk about your career, SO. Okay. How long have you been in the music game? A couple weeks now. <laughs> uh, that feels like a couple weeks. Really? Uh, no, it doesn't. It oh. feels like, uh, you know, well over two decades mm -hmm. anyway. So that's fucking awesome. Yeah. Yeah. So it's, you came it's, to it's, us via Joe DeRosa, who's yeah. a, friend, a friend of mine. And oh, he, you came boy. highly recommended. Joe, I highly recommend Joe. He's a great, great dude. Yeah. Great dude. And uh, it was actually our music that led me to Joe. Joe had mentioned us on a podcast at one point. Oh, cool. And then somebody tagged me and said, oh, Joe DeRosa shouted you out. And I said, oh, I know that guy yeah, yeah, yeah. From, from his comedy. Okay. And then we kind of connected that way. Hell yeah. And uh, he went to a couple of our shows and we hung out a few times. And you What's know? it like being like a rock star? What's like the live show scene like? Oh, well. What's your bedtime? You, uh, <laughs> my bedtime is usually about 10 o'clock, so I'm going to drift what soon. A, what about uh, a show night, <laughs> Show night could be any time, two, three. You know, yeah. it depends. It depends on where we are. You yeah. know what I mean? Like, if we're somewhere like in Amsterdam or something, it's, you, you, you're looking at a long, long night. It depends on the time of year, too, because if you're in Amsterdam and you get out of the club at, like, 2 in the morning, it, if it's a certain time of year, it could still be light out. Okay. You know what I mean? I've so never been to Amsterdam. Oh, you'd like it, I think. Where's your favorite place that's that music has brought you? Um, only or fans, <laughs> probably. <laughs> <laughs> ah, this is it. This is the pinnacle of your career yes. right here. Uh, the dog's I, asshole in your face. <laughs> Can you just relax? Uh, uh, <laughs> Amsterdam. Mabel is a good looking dog, I'll tell you that. She is. She is. Um, yeah. She's bad, though. Uh, so favorite place to perform? I, yeah. People ask that question well, every then so pretend often like i didn't i, oh, don't I like, didn't mean it like that i didn't mean it like really oh sensitive. here we go i'm a really sensitive person here we go with the where is your favorite place <laughs> question <laughs> you think i'd have a canned answer I'd, that's how see i don't it, no yeah, you're still stalling yeah, exactly because it, it, it is a unique question I, I was only kidding i was stalling by saying everyone asked me that i'm trying to think of where my favorite place to perform it's probably uh i like performing in boston which is home yeah um I like performing at the Marshfield Fair. Hey, no. I, are you serious? No. Fiesta shows, dude? You're fucking kidding. I grew up going to the Marshfield yeah, Fair. Right. My second cousin was the head of the fair. Are you serious? Yeah. Oh, wow. He was like my mom's second cousin. And he was a fucking weirdo, creepy... Yeah, because they all they're um, what are what are they're carnies? Yes, you know, they're traveling carnies, and um, but he was like the head of it, so he had money. And my mom would make us put on cute outfits, and she's like, "All right, we're gonna go see my second cousin Pat. I think his name was Pat." And we'd walk in, and he would just hand us over stacks of tickets for all the rides. Oh, really? <laughs> nice. So we would never wait in line. We'd cut all the lines. I was always wondering who was behind Fiesta shows. <laughs> and it turns out it's you. It's you have connections somehow. Connections. And my mom's like, listen, I don't want to pay for these fucking rides. Get in there. Go kiss him on the cheek. I remember <laughs> he stunk. He smelled. He was like greasy, like cheap gold chains and oh. stuff. He always smelled like booze and cigarettes. Wow. And all those fucking carnies, just like toothless guy. And all they would have to do is like move a lever to make it start yeah. but yeah it's pretty safe rides there uh, yeah <laughs> it's the the more time passes the less the more rides i'm afraid to get on you know what i mean even yeah. like even like at six flags or something like that you still you see the guy or the, the, the person operating the machine and right. they don't care no they don't you give know? a fuck no they're like oh it's stuck i get to go to lunch early yeah <laughs> Yeah, exactly. Bye, children. They just, yeah, they could just sit up there. It's and, terrifying. Yeah. I know it does work me too. Like, this is this roller coaster's 500th time around. It's like, well, oh, is yeah. this the time we're all going to die? <laughs> yeah, exactly. Mabel. Exactly. Right. Uh, You're going to be out of here. Mabel. I, I'm sorry. I brought my, my dog okay. friendly energy to this. Okay. okay. I'm gonna go in my room. Go in my room. You can't handle it. All right, lay down then. No, no. <laughs> listen. Uh, listen. <laughs> uh, you think he's going to save you? This Nothing is, will save you. Come here. Uh, she's no Victoria Stillwell, is she? <laughs> <laughs> That's a good thing about dogs is you can call them these awful names. They have like no idea. Cunt and idiot. It's all in the inflection and how you say it that you know you can it could come off as a term of endearment. 
What are your nicknames for your dogs? They uh, already have oh. kind of like nicknamey type. We, yeah, yeah, we have. Those are the names that, that are so embarrassing that you wouldn't want to say them on a uh, podcast. They're like schmoopy boo. Yeah. Well, yes. Like, well, <laughs> yeah. yeah. I mean, <laughs> I mean, it, it's just nonsense. I'm sure yeah. Mabel has nicknames other oh, than yeah. Mabes, right? I call her Shit Monkey. Shit Monkey. Okay. <laughs> Yeah, well, <laughs> that's nice to know after her ass has been in my face for most of this episode. She really is a whore. She's like, I'll anything. do whatever. I'll do whatever. I know we just met. <laughs> that's what Pepper's like. Really? Pepper is. I would love that. She just wants to to rock and do whatever. Yeah. And, and Rocket is the one that doesn't want to do anything. And that's why his name's Rocket. It's hilarious. like an ironic name because yeah. he's kind of like a doorstop. Yeah. And More um, like a rocket chair. Yes. Yeah. A rocking chair. Right. Right. Like a rock. I tried. Stay. You did. You did. Seamus. <laughs> that's such an Irish name. It is. So, so is your name. I know. Right? We're both wicked Irish from Massachusetts. Yeah. It's too bad. But uh, no, I'm only kidding. I don't know if you're teeming with Irish pride or what, but <laughs> teeming with something <laughs> whenever this infection is. <laughs> I, uh, I have some Irish pride. I think yeah. cause I'm not ugly. Yeah. Right. I think if I was like an ugly Irish, I would be like quiet about it. I see. Yeah. But I think we need some good re representation. Right. So many of us are just Right. Brutal looking. Right. I feel like she's kind of taking not a shot you. at me in no, a way. You no, know? Uh, of course not me. You're on <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> you got to consider who you're talking you? to. As, we're t as, you're, as the words are coming out of your mouth, you have to figure out how to navigate and don't insult your guest. Is that true? Yeah. You're like, <laughs> is, that you, true? Uh, <laughs> is that true of podcasting? I don't know. No, it's not. It's not. But as you're saying Maybe you that. You have to be nice and polite in the hip hop community. You Well, I don't. I don't, but I walk a, a thin line because sometimes you, people can take words out of context. And yeah. So like, as you said, like there's a lot of ugly Irish people. I think that's what you said, right? Did I? I felt like that. I, I felt, love all you guys watching right now. You're all good looking Irish people. You have a big Irish fan base? I think so. Okay, good. Well, I'm Seamus Ryan. <laughs> there it is. <laughs> uh, my middle name is Parg and it's P-A-D-R-A-I-C. So I grew up saying Padraic, but I've been, you know, over the years, people have told me that it's pronounced Parg. Parg? I don't even want a part. I, you know, <laughs> if you have <laughs> a this massacre. Like Gaelic. Yeah. Yeah. This is it really is. Irish. It is. Yeah. So uh, uh, I just always just said Padraic is my middle name, but I don't really use it anyway. Okay. But unless I'm on a podcast with an Irish host. <laughs> my name was almost Sean Patrick. If I was a boy, I was going to be Sean Patrick. Oh, nice. And then my mom was also toying with Kendra. I was almost uh -huh. a lesbian. Oh, I see. <laughs> <laughs> Kendra's a, I know several straight Kendra's. Yeah. Yeah. For now. For now. Well, as far as I know, right? Yeah. How would I know? No, I'm joking. There's a lot of good softball playing Kendra's. <laughs> you can be a softball player and straight, I what? think. What? Yeah. I mean, no you pitch, way. you pitch a lob, but you. I did actually play softball when I was younger. I had a pretty sick yeah. windmill. Oh, nice. <laughs> My, is, that, is that what that's called when yeah, you wind up like you that? you wind up. Some okay. girls just go straight underhand, you know? Yeah. But you got to get the momentum. Okay. But it's harder to throw it straight when you got that much momentum going. Right. That's my dad used to fucking scream at me. Oh, oh, I see. So trying to get a better performance out of you. Yeah. Okay. I coach my daughter's basketball team. You do? Yes. And, and I coach her soccer team as well. Mm -hmm. But she's just there to socialize. and. Um, Does that drive you nuts? No. Okay. No, because I'm just there to let you know wrangle the cats and let them i mean she's a uh, nine years old so okay. the fact that she's out there playing with her friends and getting some exercise under the guise of laughing and playing is cool i don't expect her to be you know in the WNBA or okay. the soccer uh national right. team or anything i just yeah. just a, a fun activity i think but yeah there are some some coaches the that parent, take it far. Are they, like, are there parents that are like sideline coaches? There are. Yeah, there yeah. are. And uh, unfortunately for like a coach, when you see the kids playing, a lot of it, a lot of things in the back of my mind are what parents are there and are they, you know, judging how much playing time their time kid is getting, getting. You yeah. know what I mean? Yep. But we're, we're dealing with nine-year-olds right. and it's, it, you know, it's very early in the game. Right. My so. brother coaches my nephew who is all, he's not nine, he's 11. His football team, like they're doing like flag football. Oh, yeah, yeah. And yeah, you see it. There's like, you know, the, all the my my uh, my nephew's pretty tall for his age. So he's usually the quarterback or he, you know, he gets a lot of playing time because my brother's the coach. But then there's another coach. There's a lot of parents involved. OK. And then I remember I went to watch one game. There's this tiny little kid, like, you know, just so much shorter than all of them. And I watch his dad go up to my brother like, hey, can we, you know, 
put my kid in the fucking game. <laughs> And my brother was so cute. He's like, yeah, we got to give Tyler some playing time. Right? That wasn't his name, but it's a lot of politicking that it goes is. on. A lot it of is. egos and, the, you know, there are also a lot of lessons being learned about patience and listening. And There are, yeah. And I think the parents could take some of those yes. lessons as well, you know? Yeah, but they really, that, that stress coming off the sidelines, that's yeah. where it's being produced. Yeah. It's not really on the field. The kids are mostly just having fun. Yeah, But definitely. it's the parents, the yelling. Yeah, there are certainly kids that are a little bit more aggressive than other kids and yeah. a little bit with a more like, let's win this game than yeah. other kids. But it's the parents that are just breathing fire down your neck. <laughs> you feel that, you know, and it's yeah. like, but if you feel this way, why don't you come out and volunteer to coach? Because sure. it's not like I'm getting paid to do it. Exactly. I haven't you seen know? you at that many practices, Mrs. Marshall. Yeah. How fucking... did you know Mrs. Marshall? She's such a bitch. She's such a bitch. Uh, <laughs> Never brings fucking munchkins. Nothing. Doesn't bring orange slices. No. No. My I... last, yeah, last last end of the season for soccer, I got a whole bunch of stuff. I got alcohol, oh, nice. comic books, gift cards, all types of things. That's and nice. Sometimes you don't get anything. Sometimes you get a lot of things it all depends on that one mom that could be organizing it all for right. all the other parents right you know like a venmo me 10 bucks and right. whatever and then there's a whole anyway oh, i digress parenting did you always want to be a dad um i you know i think so i just thought it was in my future mm. like eventually at yeah. some point and um i didn't really like set the date but i feel like with the kids that we have if I knew how much I would enjoy, I would have enjoyed it. I would have done it earlier. earlier. Yeah. Okay. Um, but of course, they wouldn't be the same kids that they right. are, yeah. and I wouldn't be the same dad that I am. Not yeah. you know. But I, I, yeah, I enjoy it. I like it. That's awesome. Yeah. It's but it's not something like I, like when I was sixteen, I'd look up in right, the clouds right. and say, one day I'm gonna be a, be be a, a dad. Great dad. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I was just gonna be. Speaking of dads, your dad is from Dorchester. Isn't that said. crazy? Yeah, and my dad's and from dad, Dorchester. I wonder if they know each other. Well, I don't know. My dad's dad, so <laughs> <laughs> maybe if he has a Ouija board. Knew each board, other. Uh, Most of my dad's friends are dead. <laughs> yeah, okay. <laughs> well, uh, he went to Bishop Fian, actually. Okay, okay. My dad didn't go there. He okay. got kicked out of a bunch of schools. Oh, gangsta. Yeah, he yeah. got kicked out of a few different private schools. Okay. None. I mean, I forget the names of them, but there was one that, that where the nuns taught and they locked him up on a cage upstairs. No way. Yeah, my dad would like tell us these stories and then like I would like try to get him to retell when I was like older and I got more interested and he yeah. just shuts down. So, or he, uh, he's also, I mean, on the cusp of dementia. Oh, really? That's so hard. the stories are getting a little. But they're mostly just about him getting fight. He was always getting in fights. We like when we were like first um, trick or treating when we were like younger. Yeah, I remember every year my mom was all like, "Be careful and you know don't scare any of the little kids." And my dad would be like, "You know how we used to trick or treat?" Like, no, dad, how? He's like, "You go find a kid, you punch him in the face, and you take his bag and you run." <laughs> and he was kidding. No, he no, fucking he wasn't. wasn't. He wow. was just a bad kid. I think because my dad's dad had a stroke when okay. my dad was like uh, fifteen, sixteen. Okay. Up until that point, he was like a good dad and like really involved. All the other boys yep. in the neighborhood liked my dad's dad. Okay. But then when that happened, my dad had to start like providing for the family. Uh, so he was still going to school, but he was like working kind of like full time too. I see. And then he started getting in lots of trouble. Wow. Yeah. Yeah. That's... So your dad grew up in Dorchester. Where'd you grow yeah. up? Yeah. Uh, Beverly. Okay. Where, you know, Beverly? Not not well. I mean, I yeah. know. It's cooler than Marshfield. Why? Uh, no, I don't think so. Just, <laughs> Marshfield wasn't cool. I just, did you go to high school in Marshfield? No, I went to Sacred Heart. Oh, okay. In Kingston. Oh, yeah. 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 Very cool. Um, Yeah, so so Beverly was uh, where I went to high school. Is it like a rich town? It's, I think that's that's the perception because yeah. it's on the water. Yeah. But it's it's not. Okay. You know, Um, but. I don't know. It's I, I think that's all perspective. Yeah, you know yeah, what I'm yeah. saying? Yeah. Like they're, you could ask somebody, be like, "Oh, Beverly's nice." Same, yeah. But it's like, but I never spent any time like in Beverly or like on the water, and you, I could have spent time just like hanging out on a dock or something, or getting to know nautical terms, just boats. <laughs> right, and, you know, right. the, the, Marshfield's on the water, isn't it? It is. You know, and I could have been somebody that did boat tours and things like that, but I. Not about I did, and I just kept going into Boston and Boston and Boston. Yeah, and yeah. And, and and I just went. You there. like the scene there, the vibe there? Uh, not, not. I mean, not particularly now, but when I was first cutting my teeth and falling in love with hip hop and everything, that's just where it was at. Yeah. For, for a kid of my 
age at that time. Yeah. So I just take the train in or whatever. My grandmother lived in Boston. I mean, in Dorchester where my dad grew up. So we'd, I'd be in Dorchester all the time too. So it was just kind of going back and forth. And then, yeah. but Beverly is, yeah, it's like, uh, it's tough to really say, you know, if it's a rich town or not, but that's like people, people think Marshfield, <laughs> people think Marshfield's like rich and some yeah. streets are, but some yeah. streets are also really poor. Okay. Yeah. Like Steven Tyler and like the other Aerosmith guys like yeah. lived in Marshfield, but it oh, was okay. on this one specific cul-de-sac where like they all had these huge houses. Oh, okay. But then my friend who was supposedly Joey from new kids cousin. Yeah. She lived in a fucking shack by really? the beach. And I was like, Joey's not throwing you guys a dime over here. This place stinks. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> he's like, she used to be like, he's my cousin. He's my cousin. I'm like, well, can he get you guys out of this shithole? Like, you're living in a shanty right. in the 90s. <laughs> like, come on. Like, aren't we all supposed to be in credit card debt? Like, my parents are fucking putting everything on credit cards. Yeah, I, I had a credit card problem back then as well. Um, in the you know maybe late nineties when I first Happens got one, my, my, yeah, my dad, my dad was like, yeah, you get that, and you can just get whatever, right? And then you know he didn't tell me that I had to pay it pay all back. off. No, yeah, no, yeah. it's free money. And then it's like it's free it's money. Like, yeah, you go to Jordan Marsh after school, you take yourself over there, get a nice dinner. And Jordan Marsh, <laughs> they sell clothes, but, yeah. but 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 they also had a restaurant. I remember. Oh, you do? Okay, yeah. I, well, I never went to it, but I remember okay. hearing about so it. So I would go in there and I'd sit down and <laughs> just buy my seat. Yeah, and I'd have a you know a bacon cheeseburger and fries. <laughs> and it's it's like, this is nice. And then I'd get a bill and I'm like, I'm not paying this Who's shit. Who's going to pay that? And then I, you know, then I got a car repossessed. And I oh, learned, no. Yeah, I learned, you know, I learned a lot of you lessons that way. way. Yeah. And, you know, my and my parents, mostly in Beverly, they rented. So okay. it wasn't there. Yeah. So, I mean- I mean, they were in houses, but they were renting the right, houses. Right, so right. they were like owned houses. So I, I don't know. Uh, maybe that, that contributes to my street cred. My <laughs> the financial irresponsibility yeah, yeah. of your parents. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. My finances are crazy. My, like, my family, we felt like we were doing well for like when I was in high school until the day I graduated. My dad got laid off the day I graduated high school. Oh, wow. And I just got accepted to college. I got a, Big scholarship, but it was still going to cost a lot of money. Oh, wow. And um, that was that was tough. Like my dad made probably like a hundred grand a year, but he hustled so fucking hard to make that hundred grand. And it was like expensing this and like getting this money back. You know, it was like he probably made ninety nine point something grand a year. Like, you know, okay. it was just always like hustle, hustle, hustle. And then, yeah, he got laid off. And my mom was like, well, your dad's been the breadwinner for a long time. Now it's time for me to step it up. And like, I'm gonna, you know, I got my master, so I'm gonna do this. But credit cards, yeah. My, they took out um, a credit card in my name when I was in college and just maxed it out. No way. Oh, man. They ended up paying it off. I don't know when, but yeah. My, I think I, when I was like first applying to apartments, I'm like, mom, they keep saying I have bad credit. What did I do? Oh, no. She's like, don't worry about it, honey. No way, really? Yeah. Oh, it's wow. fixable. Everything's fixable. Oh, yeah. No, my credit was horrific, oh, oh, but it was my own doing. Yeah. You know, but I mean, I did not get I did not have any financial literacy or no. I didn't, I didn't understand how any of that works. I, I still have I still wrestle with, with it a little bit. But uh, the more you make, the more the fucking government takes. I, I've noticed. <laughs> I've noticed. What are they uh, even doing with it? Well, uh, we can't. I don't want to get into that. <laughs> I but. mean, me neither, because fucking China is coming. North Korea is fucking blowing out missiles right now, probably. That guy hates our guts. Oh, I don't man. even know that guy. He hates my guts. Well, yeah, I mean. Kim Jing Jong Jun. So I started no, rapping Nicole, in 1997, Nicole, no. back to the rap shit, and I was like. <laughs> 1997 <laughs> seems like a really good year for rap. Yeah, well, who were your was. biggest rap influences besides Cypress Hill? Uh, bes <laughs> <laughs> that, not that was my only was answer. Was Cypress Hill? Was that was that not it. a good? Be real, send dog, DJ Muggs. Yes, Cypress. That's it. Um, I no, know. I liked. Uh, well, let, let's. Well, why don't I see if you know? I the groups? won't. No, I'm not cool, oh, okay. dude. But go ahead. But maybe okay. I do. Well, you had a you got a scholarship. Got, How did you get the scholarship? I mean, academic. Academic. All right. So you wouldn't know these records because I was uh, a nerd. No, uh, no, that's good. That's great. I, was, I used to go into Providence with my fake ID when okay. I was in high school when I turned eighteen. Okay. Oh, because Providence is closer from Marshfield. Yeah, we'd get on ninety five. Oh, nice. 
And then we drive. Yeah, we go to Dino's. You know Dino's? I, you ever play Dino's? No, I never heard of Dino's. No? No. Providence. I played, just play, I played the living room what? and Lupo's. Oh, the living room, Lupo's. Yep. Yeah, yeah, there was a fire at Lupo's, yeah. right? Yep. Yeah. So I, I I grew up listening to EPMD. Mm-hmm. What's your favorite EPMD song? It's the fucking one about the fucking <laughs> gangsters. <laughs> They're from actually Long Island. Are they? Uh, yeah, uh, Strong Island? See, exa- there you go. Isn't there, there like a so, New York, Boston beef in the rap world or not really? No, you're thinking of baseball. Mm. Um, but there has been some Boston, New York rivalries and, and beefs in, in hip hop. I like all, that. All very, oh, you do? Yeah. 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 Uh, <laughs> I like beefs. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So, <laughs> yeah, I, we, there's definitely been a few. Um, I like the Ultra Magnetic MCs. Okay. Probably one of your favorites. Yes. Yeah. Those guys are the best because exactly. they're like they're not just magnetic. No, they're ultra magnetic. Cool Keith. He's the, the wait. Cool Keith sounds very familiar. I think yeah. I know Cool Keith. Okay. Nicole, pull up Cool Keith. I think I know him. I also I dated hope, a guy I named Keith. You- Oh, was he cool? He was black. Okay. <laughs> well, that's, a good, that's a good start to being cool. Uh, I've been working at that for a long time. Um, the Beat Nuts. Yes. Uh, Wu-Tang Clan. I know who Wu-Tang okay. Clan is. Yeah, the other guy that I rap with in Zarface is Inspector Deck from Wu-Tang Clan. No way. That's Jeez. huge, dude. I mean, it looks like she's Why really preparing for this interview. Why can we get him, Nicole? I got this soccer dad talking about fucking Beverly. <laughs> I thought we were getting a gangster rapper. I'm a, I listen, the dog, I'm a dog person. <laughs> yeah, I know. I'm a so, I'm not a soccer player. I'm right. a soccer dad. Dad. Right. Which is cool. Yeah. And I'm, you know, I've, I've, I've had my, do you, my, how many kids do you have? Two. Two. Boy and a girl. Boy and a girl. What way to do it. Yep. Planned it that way. Do you uh, play your music for them a lot? Uh, I have. Um, we actually were on the soundtrack to Venom 2, which is a, a superhero movie. Mm-hmm. I don't know if you're familiar with that stuff. You're more of a Venom 1 girl. Venom 1 girl. Okay, Tom Hardy, he's the, the I lead. I fucking love Tom Hardy. I'll oh, okay. watch this now. Okay. I'm obsessed with Tom Hardy. Yeah. And his, he is like do- he's in some movie with dogs. Yeah, The Drop, maybe. Yes. Tom's a friend of mine. Can you call him? I could call him. I could. And Tom uh, Hardy. He's so fucking hot. Yeah. What does he have? Like a cleft? Is that just like a scar? Or did he have a cleft lip? Uh, whatever it is, it works. That's so uh, hot. What is he? People like thought he was gay for a minute. And he's like, maybe I am gay. I don't yeah, care. Yeah, exactly. He's so chill about yeah, it. Yeah, who cares? He's so talented. He's a, he's a great dude. And he put us in that movie. Mm-hmm. And I guess what I was getting to was, you asked if I played music for my kids. Yeah. I put my daughter on the song. Oh, cool! So, and she was about seven when six or seven when we recorded it. So she, her voice is on the song. So that's right. Yeah, so that was that was cool. So she sometimes will request her own song on on uh, what do you call it, Alexa, yep. or something, you know? And that's great. Things like that. And, that's and, like when like home videos. I used to ask my parents. I'm like, do Karen on the boats? Oh yeah. <laughs> and they would put the video on of me on the boats. So okay. it's kind of the same thing. It like, is. Except but your daughter's like, put that movie that I'm in on. That's well, badass. Well, she's just putting on the, the song on. I yeah. get it. I know. I guess she's not in the movie. But right. Still, it's I'm, I'm right. aiming to get her into Venom 3. We'll see. Yeah. What's uh, it rated? It's. Uh, I think it's going to be rated PG-13. Okay. It could be, it could be an R-type mo- vehicle, yeah. but uh, they're going for PG-13 with these. What is, the, what is his superpower in Venom? Is he a snake guy? Um, he- <laughs> or is he just a rape? He has a rapier's wit, so, and it's his <laughs> words that are Venom, Nicole. <laughs> this is good. Um, a rapier. How's that what you said? A rapier's wit. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Um, so you're, you're a lyricist. I am. I was. I. I remarked on it. <laughs> I. You know. I didn't let it go. I, I brought it back up. I said. She said rapier's wit. And I let it a, a beat hit, and then yep, I brought it back up. I was did. impressed, Full and then circle, I said, "Okay, the Bob academic I... scholarship kicking yes. in." Yes. Yeah. So Venom <laughs> is a is a symbiote from another planet called Clintar. Okay, uh. and it's a little piece of black ooze a goo that gets into it needs a host okay and bonds with a host okay and then it takes over the host and then the host and venom mm. who's the character from clintar mm. they uh turn into this big brolic scary scary bad an- guy anti-hero well he's a bad anti-hero. guy in the comics but he became a good guy here and there and he's okay. he's an arch villain of spider-man who you might have heard of okay no Spider-Man, yeah. You mean arch villain like arch nemesis like yeah. enemy yep those are synonyms for venom 
because he's the black venom and Spider-Man's the. Yeah. Yep. Spider-Man seems like he's always the good guy, though. He is. He is. So Tom Hardy plays Eddie Brock, who is Venom, who is the host. I'd let Tom Hardy shoot his Venom right in me. Well, (laughs) I. I I, I need my holes. Yeah. I (laughs) was trying to make you uncomfortable and Nicole laugh. Let's FaceTime him. (laughs) Can we? Please. I would lose my mind. It is. uh, What time is it there? It's probably one in the morning. God damn it. Time to FaceTime. Time to fucking FaceTime Tom Hardy. Well, you never saw Spider-Man 3, like the original Spider-Man with Tobey Maguire, because that's the one where he. He's in it? Venom is. Not Tom Hardy, but okay. Venom no. is part of that Introduced. movie. Wait, because yeah. he's like the bad spider. Guy? Yeah, when he gets like emo and has like yes. his swoopy hair, that's uh-huh. Venom is in that. Yeah, yep. And it originated originally that that piece of symbiote from Clintar that is Venom got into Peter Parker first, who is Tobey Maguire, yeah. and then it went over to the guy from the '70s show. I forget his name. T- Topher Grace. Topher Grace who was the original. Vent, like live action Venom. Yeah. You need a tougher Venom than Topher Grace. You got Tom Hardy. Way better. Well, I mean, you saw The Revenant, right? Yeah. Did you? Yep. Oh, wow. What a psychopath he is in that. He's so fucking hot, dude. Oh, that's all I can think about is how hot he is. <laughs> I love him. Tom Hardy's like way up there for me. My other like Hollywood crush used to be uh, Vigo Mortensen or Mortensen. Oh, yeah, on- yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Uh, from uh, Lord of the Rings. Yep. Or or is it uh, and also American or History of America or American History? He has that scene. He's really scary. American History X. No. Oh, oh uh, history, history of, of I know violence? what you're talking about. History of violence. Yep. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. He was. He was. Hot I in used that. to be obsessed with Vigo, and then it was all Tom. Really? Yeah. Wow. And now I'm in love that. with Timothy Chalamet. Oh, he might be a little young for you. I, 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 I'm the guy. I don't know your age, but that's I'm, fucked up. So, I'm, I'm just saying. Listen, it, Seamus. I know you've you been don't doing, know how old I am. I know, no, but I know you've been doing <laughs> this for a long time. Is my hip locked out right now? Maybe. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. If I want to get a little shallow Malade, yeah. I will. Sure, go for it. Let him. Uh, I'm obsessed with his little candy doom. ass. Yeah. Uh, Why is he so feminine and yet hot? I don't get it. That's a uh, that's a gift. That's like yeah. Certain people can do that. Lenny Kravitz, Johnny Depp, like yeah. Bob Dylan kind of did that. David Bowie, like yeah. they're hot but they're gay, Prince. but they're not gay. Prince. Prince, perfect example. Yeah. Uh, You're good at the music ones. Yeah. That's your thing, uh, music. Who else? I have a question. I, I like comedy too. I'm, I like. Oh, you do? Yep. I what like, are your favorite comedy people? Um, is that what we call them? Comedy people? Joe Coy? Big Joe Coy fan? <laughs> okay. People he was are on giving the, uh, him so much shit right now. Poor guy. Oh, uh, he was on the Golden Globes last yeah. night. Yeah. Yeah. What, why? Why? I didn't see it. I didn't see it either. Okay. But I'm just like, like regular, like civilian people not in comedy are texting me like, who's this guy? He fucking stinks. He's oh. fucking eating it. Da, 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 da. Oh. But Michael well, Che said a lot of things that I thought made sense. I feel like for a Golden Globe event, he's probably delivering other people's lines. Yeah. I could be wrong. I don't know how that yes works. Yes and really, no. But. Like, you're going to get writers. It's funny. I talked, I won't say who, but I talked to a comic um, who tried to send him some jokes, and Joe Coy was like, no, no, these are too edgy. I'm not doing them. Oh. The one joke I saw was the Taylor Swift joke. And he yeah. said something like, oh, the only difference between this and the Chiefs game is we're not going to have as many cutaways to Taylor. Oh. He flubbed it a little and like added a few too many words. Oh, I see. Yeah. And then they did, of course, cut right to her. And her reaction was like, I roll like I'm drinking. So it was like a double. Oh, yeah. You don't want her to make a bad face about right. you when you're making it. You don't want to bomb in front of Taylor. I don't, I don't know like if enough people were familiar with Joe Coy before that. Yeah. I don't think anybody was rooting for him, you know? Right. Right. Uh, who who hosted it before? The uh, Gervais? Gervais. Yeah. Every time he hosts his, he hosts his. He kills. And then yeah. Tina Fey and Amy Poehler host sometimes okay. together. I think they've done it a couple times. Yeah. You um like them? Yeah, I think they're great yeah. together. They have great chem- I Gervais is my favorite because he okay. just gets wasted and like tells people to go fuck yeah. themselves. That's, yeah. that's my fave. Yeah. That speech that still like pops up when he's like, thank you fucking God. Don't come up here and tell anyone about your cause. You've no business lecturing the public about oh, that- 
anything. That's right, yeah. yeah. You've spent less time in school than Greta Thunberg. <laughs> That's right, yeah, I remember yeah. that. Yeah. He's like, you you say you're woke, but the companies you work for, Apple, if ISIS started a streaming network, you'd call your agents, wouldn't you? <laughs> Maybe this should be an audition monologue for me. Yeah. <laughs> I'll be yeah. auditioning with Ricky Gervais's opening monologue from the Golden Globes in 2016. <laughs> Whatever the fuck he did it. No, he's great. He won Best Comedy Special. Oh, he did? Yeah. Okay. Which And I watched it and it's good. Yeah? Mm-hmm. On Netflix? or Yeah. Nice. It's on the flicks. Nice. I haven't seen Chappelle's new one. I guess it's not good. I haven't either. No? I haven't either. What's the last special you watched? Uh, the last one I watched was um, Tim Dillon, I think. <laughs> Timmy. Yeah. Did you watch Shane's? Um, yeah. yeah I watched, Shane's yeah. is great. Yeah. I uh, watched that. Uh, there's not many that I haven't seen, I don't think. You know, I keep going back to some. Yeah. You know, and my wife is like, why are we watching this again? We already watched it. Like, but and I'm like, like oh, no, no, I like, I want to watch it again because <laughs> yeah. it's going to make me laugh again. Yeah. You know, it's, this has replay value. Yeah. You know, that um, says a lot about a special. If you yeah, go back I think to so. It. Yeah. I, I go, there are certain ones I go back to. Do you know Dimitri Martin? Yeah. Of course. Okay. So I'll go Isn't back to funny? some yeah. of his, some of yeah. his jokes remind me like the way Stephen Wright would set them up, you know, yeah. in that way. And I'd be like, I like Stephen that. Wright, yeah. oh, Stephen Wright's like, the so best. funny. Yeah. Um, so I, I yeah, I, and uh, I know it's not stand up, but I think you should leave. That's something I put on all the. Is that time. Gervais's show? No, no, Tim Robinson. Oh, oh yes. yeah, yeah, I think that show. Yeah. Yes, 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 yes. Yeah, yeah. so it's three seasons, and I can yeah. just watch that the whole That's the whole thing show. through. And and um, but in terms of replay, but I, I will just put that on like yeah. every night. Do you watch documentaries? Uh, yeah, definitely. Have you seen the Curious Case of Natalie Grace? I have not. It, it sounds like a children's book. <laughs> oh, oh, oh. It, have you seen this, Nicole? Can you pull up a picture of uh, Natalia Grace or Natalie Grace? I think that's her name. This fuck it. First of all, there's two seasons. I keep falling asleep during this show, and I don't know if I'm having nightmares or it's still the show. <laughs> it's this tiny little evil child who this family thinks they're adopt. They think they're adopting a six year old, and then this is you learn all this in episode one. So okay. I'll, I'll uh, this, it's a little spoilery, but not really because again, there's two seasons now. They go to give her a bath. She has full pubes. She's supposed to be six years old. A week later, she's hiding her period underwear. She's supposed to be six years old with dwarfism. She's fucking oh, 16, see. dude. <laughs> oh, okay. So, so she's you, terrifying. Wait, how old is she? I don't know. We don't know because they, she, was, she was supposedly from the Ukraine. Okay. But she doesn't speak Ukrainian. Okay. And then she gets her fucking period. They think she's 16. She starts, they have a whole family before they get her. And they made a show, a documentary about this? Yeah. I see. She was 22. Yeah. Have you seen that movie Orphan? That uh, horror movie? No. It's like the same thing. Do you remember that? It was from a while ago. Oh, is it the based on it? Probably, yeah. yeah. It's like the same thing where the little girl, little girl, quote unquote, is like killing Everybody yeah. and is crazy and all this stuff keeps happening. I'll show you a picture. You'll probably recognize it. It's probably like 2010 okay. or something like that. But. I probably remember. What did she? Did she start killing people? She's okay. So they would go into her room. She would have knives under her bed. Yeah. They would wake up in the middle of the night. She would be at the foot of their bed with a knife. And they're like, what are you doing? And she's like, waiting for you to fall asleep so I can kill you. <laughs> she started taking the little boys who were like technically younger than her. And she would throw their toys in the street. So they would rush after them trying to get them hit by cars. Oh my God, it's, yeah. Oh, wow. Yeah. Do you remember this movie? Yeah. I don't. I, I don't. You I remember I, at least seeing ads for it. I don't know if I saw the movie, but I bet you anything it's based on this chick. Okay. And then, wow. I know, it goes on and on. My problem is I put stuff on and then I take a couple of melatonins. Yeah. And I'm like, then I'm like, oh, and then I wake up again. I'm like, oh my God, the dwarf girl is it back. Can get, yeah, a melatonin can really, uh, <laughs> depending on how much you take, you shouldn't take more than 100 milligrams. Let's see how much no, I've been taking. No, every I, night. I take 110 milligram. I think I do one or two. Like okay. they're chocolates that I take oh, before okay. bed every night. Okay. I I take indica, indica gummies. They're yeah. Not, not really melatonin, but it kind of has the same. That'll knock you out. So, yeah. I smoke yeah. weed. Okay. That's what I'm talking about. That's what yeah. indica is. But yeah, I, I know. I do it like a man. You indicated. And, and I eat it as a indicated. I like that. <laughs> but I uh, I like that. We've come a long way since before we started here and I got, you explained to me what a Bernese mountain dog was. <laughs> it's a I mean, big dog. Yeah, I know. But I mean, I know I have burners in my dog. life. I have a lot of dogs that, you know, I'm very fluent in any breed of dog. You can't, you can't think of a dog I don't know. 
Um, what about a Nova Scotian duck tolling retriever? <laughs> Listen, I have a, a shirt. It has a Nova Scotian duck tolling retriever. I swear, I swear I do. I swear I do. J. Crew makes it, and I bought it because of the the, the, the no, I, I love those dogs. They're like tiny. Yeah. They, get the, they, they have the coat of a golden retriever, but they yes. have a white chest. Yeah, they're beautiful. Yeah, they're Ma- beautiful there's dogs. one in this building. Mabel hates them, though. They hate each other. Oh, really? They yeah. see each other from like yards away and they're like, ah, fuck oh, you. Well, it's, it, did, did Mabel come from like uh, like an abusive past or anything? Or? I hope so. You- <laughs> because otherwise, she's a bitch for no reason. I see. No, yeah. she. I think she came maybe from like um, street dog life, like pack life. Yeah, yeah. That- she's just a, like, she's got a chip on her shoulder. She's a little alpha and she'll give you a warning. But if you don't respect her warning, she'll fuck you up. She uh, was it, not people like she'll go. Like you saw like she'll go home with a stranger. Like I could just be like here. She loves everyone. I thought it was just me. <laughs> well, she certainly <laughs> loves men. Like again, I thought it was just me. <laughs> <laughs> but we were playing she has a best friend named louise who's full lab oh and they play fetch no problem it's competitive mm. but it's fine this yeah. bigger black lab male came into the mix okay. named mac shout out mac sorry to mac's dad mabel did break the skin a little after this incident i'm about to describe so the three of them are playing and max in the mix kind of hard he's body checking mabel but it's okay body checks her a little hard she looks at him full teeth Bark, growl, like, do it again. I'll fucking, like, I dare you. Do it again. And I looked at Mac's dad and I was like, if he bumps her again, she's going to fuck him up. And he was like, what? And as I'm saying that, she's like, (laughs) she's on top. He had like 10 pounds on her. I worry less about Mabel with like bigger dogs because I'm like, she's less likely to kind of like get into it. Like she, she'll respect the alpha if they're bigger. Yeah. But this dog wasn't bigger alpha. He was bigger goofy. Okay. So yeah. I had a episode a couple of days ago. Pepper is, is she's very uh, possessive of me. Yeah. Um, and she, sometimes she's a little unpredictable, but when she's off leash, she tends to be okay. Okay. So she was playing with a yellow lab and I, I, Love, love, love yellow laps. We had one for 14 years. Best dog I've ever had in my whole life. Name is Logan. But anyway, so I let, I let them play. Named him after the airport? What's that? You named him after the airport. No. People said that for a long time. And I, I used to work with the elderly and, and he, Logan would come in as a therapy dog and entertain them. And I'd always tell them, they'd, they'd say that. It's a real elderly joke to make. And, uh, <laughs> and uh, I, I would tell them yes, because I found him coming off the baggage claim. I took the wrong Aww. suitcase. And I brought them home and they would eat that up. That's you know, it was, adorable. Right, it was bullshit, but they um, love it. They love They're it. like, oh, yeah. I can't even feel my herpes. No. <laughs> all those old people have STDs. Well, you, you can tell the joke 10 minutes later In too, the because they have all oh. yeah. Yes. Um, so it's, it's nice. Um, anyway, I let these dogs play because I knew that Pepper, if it came down to it, Pepper could have kicked that dog's ass. Yeah. And then a bigger dog came was a pit bull. Uh, Sorry, Nicole. We don't have to. And but- I, and, I did not, and I love pit bulls. I spent a lot of time with pit bulls. I trust pit bulls, but it, this there was something about you know it's not the the dog, it's the owner, yes. right? But if you don't know the owner, you don't know the dog, right? right. You know what I mean? For so sure. it was just this just a little bit of energy, you know what I mean? Yeah. It was a male, and th- these two dogs were females, so they were getting along, and it was a male, but it was it was a bad situation because I kind of lied to the guy, the first guy who had the yellow the lab. lab. I was like, I was like, my dog's fine. Don't worry about it. And then the other pit bull came and I was like, my dog can be a little unpredictable. Yeah. So this guy's like, you're fucking lying you to lied me. me. You lied to me. You lied to me. Because you thought like, my well, dog could my take dog's your dog. My dog's fine with your dog. But yeah. <laughs> she's unpredictable with this big male pit who's coming in. Yeah. But it's the truth. Yeah. Because, because Pepper could well, be like, you know I what? Mean, Fuck you. And then, you know, when a pit bull gets mad, everyone dies. Everyone and I don't dies. Want, <laughs> it's, it's, it's a joke. <laughs> it's a joke. Uh, I've had my hands down pit bull's throats many times. My mom I, is I a to, pit. Yeah. And he's a love bug. Like, oh, yeah. They're great dogs. But him and Mabel, like, we didn't have enough time for them to, like, meet outside. So their first meeting was in here. And Uh, my mom was, like, in a wheelchair because she was recovering. And uh, my dad's just, like, a stressful dude. And he's like, I'm not breaking up a fucking dog fight. And they were (laughs) going to fucking kill each other. uh, And um, so it's just, I get it. So wait, what happened with the pit? 
Oh no, I, I leashed I leashed you, Pepper you up like, and went home. I and I beat myself up for about seven hours no, afterward and I just said, I am a piece no, of shit. I'm just, I lied. I got afraid of the situation. <laughs> but it was the day before the snowstorm was coming and I was thinking, I can't rush my dog with a lacerated face to get stitched up in the middle no. of a snowstorm. I had a couple different factors going through my head. Right. And it was all bad. I shouldn't have done that. But Pepper is unpredictable. Mm-hmm. But I was willing to take that risk of unpredictability to have the dance with the yellow lab because it was a magic moment. But then that fucking pit bull came in yeah. and screwed up the energy. And I, <laughs> I can't, Nicole, I keep, <laughs> I keep pointing at you. And I, 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 Raspberry's I, I, <laughs> not like that. Raspberry's a, small. Okay, Raspberry's small. All right. And she's and, low to the ground. She's like a low riding little mini pat what is she like staffy she's what is she she's like that low to the ground but she definitely doesn't have any staffy because she's no. so lazy she <laughs> she's has no energy like if you threw a ball she'd be like cool i'm not gonna go after wow, that though that's nice yeah. she's like very low-key except when she sees other dogs then she it's like blood in the water really oh, okay yeah but Working on it. We're working yeah, we're on it. it. You know, it's, it's uh, like Bill Burr said, <laughs> Pitbull's like a gun on a leash. It's like the greatest, <laughs> the greatest line. And, and uh, but I love them. I used to work with them. Yeah. I used to. I, I worked in a post op at Angel Memorial, which is a vet in Boston. And I would have to. I would take the Rottweilers, the Dobermans, the German Shepherds, all, all the dogs that raise your insurance if you own them. Yes. It, you know, and I'd have to medicate them and give them their pills and stuff. Mm-hmm. So I had no problem going into the mouths of them. Of course, they were you know heavily sedated at the time, but. <laughs> I don't know. I just want to make it clear. I love pit No, bulls. I know. We want to make it clear that what's going on in the UK right now is fucking bullshit. Hey, you know, uh, speaking of Tom Hardy, he's a huge advocate for- He is for, for bullies, right? Yes, he is. Yep. That's like, it's just really sad because it's it's the people who have like family dogs that I just feel so bad for. Yeah. Oh, yeah. What are the laws? They have to wear muzzles in public? I think so, yeah. Yeah, which is which and they're is probably too bad. euthanizing a shit ton of them that are in shelters and stuff. Probably, which is just horrible. It's really sad. Yeah, my mom has a pit, and um, she went. We we always had dogs growing up. First dog was a Samoyed Husky. Then we had a Quiche Hound. Then we had these like shitty little mutts. They were rat shits, rat terrier shits. Oh yeah, barky, 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 dogs. barky fuckers. Yeah. And then my mom, you know, all the dogs were gone. All the kids were gone, and she's like, "I'm gonna go adopt a puppy." And she's like, look, it's a terrier. She sends the group chat a picture. (laughs) All of us are like, pit, 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 pit. You just got a fucking pit bull, Maureen. What are you doing? (laughs) And he's a pit, too. He's like huge head, Uh all chest. All all chest. (laughs) (laughs) If he wanted to, like, he hunts the rabbit. He kills the rabbits in my mom's garden. Okay. Rocket does that, too. That's the one thing Rocket does. He presents problems with dead, dead rabbits. But he mostly is just a lover. Like this okay. dog is the most like lap lap dog ever. Just wants to kiss your face and love, love, love. Yeah. But yeah, I love dogs. Man. Oh, I love I love dogs too. I, yeah. I, I, you supposed to, I, I, is the is it a myth to break up a pit bull fight? You have to take your like if the if a pit bull has the jaws locked on the yeah. So that's what you've heard as well. Butthole. I don't. I, I think I would just let the dog die. <laughs> <laughs> Instead of sodomizing it, well, I mean, you don't have to do it with your dick, Seamus. Your finger. You don't have to butt fuck the dog. <laughs> this I, is what I, I heard. Get, get it, get it. <laughs> oh. Release. <laughs> we'll both release at the same time. <laughs> I, uh, oh, that's a. Uh... Seamus is such a great name. What well, are, your, you. are you? Are your parents so like? Are they off the boat? No, I mean, no, no. They they uh, just boss, just Dorchester. Yeah, yeah. You know, and I think they they went to a, a bar and there was a singer there named Seamus that was performing, and that, 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 that's why they named me. It's nothing <laughs> too romantic, and that's just kind of how I've I've had a lifetime of people calling me Seamus because it's spelled S E A M U S. You know, and then yep, and then like Zersha. That name's really pretty. I'm into that name, but it looks like it's spelled Seorsi. Oh, okay. Well, my son's name is Xavier, oh. and it's typically pronounced Xavier, mm-hmm. right? But, you know, the university. What are you shaking your head for? You don't know that? I am i don't know. How, how, would you, how would you say it if you read it off a of paper? How is it spelled? X-A-V-I-E. Yeah, I probably would say Xavier. Yeah. But Xavier, like a fucking idiot. Like the, no, 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 because the, people say that, and people keep yeah. calling him that, and I'm like... It's Xavier. Xavier. And they're like, well, Xavier can, can, can come hang out with us. After like, you correct them, they still say it wrong? Uh, yes. That's but infuriating. I, but I don't like 
I don't correct his friends. That'd be weird, you know? Right, right, right. But and adults- I want him to correct them, but he won't correct them either. So I think he's just living a life as Xavier <laughs> when it should be Xavier. It's just as I lived a life as Seamus <laughs> when I'm Seamus. So <laughs> I changed my name to Esoteric and I started rap. No, it, 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 it builds character to have people fuck up your name all the time. I So my name's Karen. Oh, shit. <laughs> So my name's Karen and that I would write my name on papers like all the time, like my full name, Karen with an N at the end. But my dad called me Carrie and my family called me Carrie. A lot of times called me Carrie. My mother always was very into Karen and Karen Elizabeth and like okay. first and middle. Okay. Until I was 14, I was pretty much Carrie. Everybody called me Carrie Fian, da, da, da. And then my friend, my older friend, noticed that I wrote Karen on all my papers. And she's like, why? She's like, that's your name? And she's like, but nobody calls you Karen. I'm like, yeah, it's kind of weird. They tell me that I spelled Karen wrong. Or oh. some people just really struggle with the short E syllable, which is probably the second noise you learn as a human. Yeah. They're just like, it's Karen. No, it's Karen. It's like bed or let or errand. Karen. Right. Right. But yeah. people don't. People are like, no. <laughs> yeah. I'm going to call you what I want to call yeah, you. Yeah. Like, okay, Corinne, shut up. Yeah. Like, mm. <laughs> but that, yeah, it's a, it's a nice name. It's Irish, right? It's an Irish name. Must yeah. be. Looks Irish. Very Irish. Yeah. My sister's name's Colleen Patricia. She got even more Irish than me. Oh, Do you have yeah. siblings? I don't. I'm an only child. Wow. Yeah. Which is. Uh, That's like, you know, I feel like there's not that many only children like in our generation. Just me and. Tom Hardy. Tom Hardy's an only boy? He is. Oh, he's so special. Yeah. When you guys hang out, what's it like? <laughs> well, <laughs> uh, it's pretty cool. Yeah? It's pretty cool. Does he only date like the hottest babes? He's married. He is? Yeah. A fucking fighter. Real super fan over here, huh? Is she? she well, uh, you think I'm going to fucking pay attention <laughs> to his whore wife? No, she's great. I'm she's in love awesome. with him. She's awesome. Oh, I'm <laughs> sure she's so cool and even keeled and has a great personality. She got all that. She's yeah. so beautiful, but doesn't know it. What a cunt. <laughs> I'm just kidding, Tom. We can yeah. do whatever you want behind her back. Oh, boy. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Uh, uh, but yeah, there there are times where, you know, he can't go anywhere without somebody wanting to take a picture of him. And stuff, you know, yeah, it's just one of those things. I get a little jealous of that, you know. And I mean, you're a fucking rock star. Well, yeah, but it does not have. No, I'm a rap rap star. Rap star, rock yeah. star. I'm There's a, a rap song saying, like, oh, "I'm a rock star." Oh yeah, that's the. That's, hey, you know who likes me? Who? Schoolboy Q. Oh yeah, yeah. Well, good for you. Thank uh, you. Good for him too. Right. And how does that? How does how does he like you? What do you mean? He like likes all my posts. Oh, he does. Yeah. Oh, all right. Well, maybe if you post about this podcast, he'll like me. <laughs> I will. I will, and I'll tag him. But we DM. Do you want to hear our whole conversation? Sure. You'll, this is how nerdy. I mean, is she about to read me the whole conversation with her. No, or, or I want to hear it. I, this is what this is my rap connection to you, right. esoteric. Let's do it. Now I'll grade it. Now I have to look up schoolboy. Wait, how do we spell school? <laughs> Guys, what's wrong with the end? Here we go. Here we go. Schoolboy Q. We've we've messaged, you know, a little oh, bit, right? It's a lot. So I opened it up, right? I go, yeah. I can't believe you like my post sometimes. Is that not good? What? I, I you know, that's great. That's great. <laughs> that's great. <laughs> I liked your post too. I didn't hear it. I didn't also, hear from sometimes, you. <laughs> like including sometimes is so funny. Yeah. Sometimes, because I notice the times that you don't like them, and I wonder what's wrong with me. Yeah, yeah. send those to him. Why didn't you like this? I'm almost going to delete it. Why didn't, why didn't you like this? I go, I can't believe you like my post sometimes. He goes, I mean, you funny and cute, so... And then he did this emoji. Okay. I mean, and then he did this emoji. I'm not gay. <laughs> LOL. Did he say that? <laughs> he said that. He said he's not gay? He's like, what? I mean, you funny and cute, so... I mean, I'm not gay. Oh. I'm trying to do it, his voice. Okay. Yeah, it's spot on. <laughs> You're blowing his whole spot right now. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, this is this is pretty good. You're just reading a DM from a personal conversation. It's fine. Let though. me show you this my conversation famous. with Margot Look how Robbie. many Schoolboy Q has four million followers, yeah. zero posts. Uh, I, I wonder about it's those. So cool. The zero post thing. Like sometimes people post a bunch of things and then he archive. They archive they're, them. They're all oh. I think that's what they do. I didn't know you could archive them because yeah. there are pictures on mine that I'm like, this is the only place that where this picture exists. Yeah. So I don't want to delete it. 
Right, right, right. But there are some people that just seems like they constantly start yeah. over with a whole new slate. And I, it might I know. be a, maybe you do that. I don't know. I don't because okay. I don't understand how people retain their audience when they do that. Because if I was like obsessed with somebody and then they decided to take themselves away from me, I would be like, well, then I don't want to look at anything then. Right. Right. That's I'm like a psycho like that. Okay. All right. So let's keep going with school I don't think boy. a lot about social media. I don't put a lot of thought into it. It's, I mean, people who do are fucking losers. I was only kidding. I think everyone does. I put up this video of me at the gym, fully clothed, by the way, showing my butt a little bit. Big deal. Okay. And then schoolboy Q said, you fa show, F-A-S capital H-O, you fa show getting kicked out and sued. <laughs> <laughs> talking about the gym. Okay. And then I go, schoolboy Q. <laughs> <laughs> you I, can do voice notes too. I Why don't you do that? Why don't you, because they can right? hear you I say should. it. Oh, schoolboy Q. Yeah. I said, schoolboy Q. I was like, you think so? And then he goes, no way you call me schoolboy Q. <laughs> <laughs> Progress. <laughs> and then uh, I go, LOL, you think I'm getting kicked out for this? It's so tame. And tell me what to call you. And he goes, nah, I doubt it. I doubt the 70 year old titty to knee ratio lady won't tell. Like he's saying old women. First I thought he was talking about me. I was like, what the fuck? But no. And he goes, my name's Quincy. But I mean, Q is what my mom calls me. And then he goes, you don't be doing comedy in LA and shit. And I said, I prefer New York. I'll be out there soon. And then he said, I be in LES. And and why? And I'm gonna check you out. He said, "I'm gonna check you out next time I'm out there." And then I gave him my phone number. Wow, that moved fast. I don't think he texted me though. Oh. He said, "Okay, dope. Two of these, fist fist." Oh. Which I think I mean he wants to fist me. Solid air. Oh yeah, that's probably what it is. It's both holes. Uh, <laughs> yes. <laughs> that's always what that emoji meant to me. Uh, he goes, "I'm a tap in." What does that mean I'm a tap in. Uh. Get in touch with you. Tap that means. So maybe in your world, okay. SO, not in me and schoolboy cues. No, what, so what would you think it would mean? I don't know. It's just a very common way to say, I'm going to get in touch with you. All right, whatever, I'm gonna man. Be, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to tune into what you're doing. I think we're in love. <laughs> yeah, it it's, looks that way. He's pretty cute. Uh, I, I, uh, <laughs> what? No, no, I, I. I don't I, know if he I, listens I to the him. pod, Nicole. No, yeah, I, I, I picture a, a bucket hat. Yeah. Right, go, yeah, 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 the, yeah. I know it's a music, of course. He's I, part yeah. of a group. You probably know TDE. Yeah, Black that Dog sounds. Yes. Yeah. If it doesn't work out with Schoolboy Q, who would you set Karen up with? Oh, that's a good question. That is Paul. a great question. Whose uh, life do you since want to ruin? Tom Hardy is enemies? taken. <laughs> yeah, Tom's taken. Um, his stunt double looks like Tom, but he's probably taken as well. Um, I, I I have a lot of friends that would would uh, entertain, me. but I, I, but they don't rap like Schoolboy Q does. You know, I don't care about what that. attracts you to Schoolboy Q. The four million followers, the yeah. music, yeah, oh, the four million followers. No, I mean just like he was like he's a cool, he's very cool. Like yeah, I like him. Then I started listening to some of his music. I was like, oh, this guy's cool. Yeah, this, he's just got a very heavy cool factor. Yeah, to him, like he doesn't even try. He's just kind of. Yeah. He it, seems like yeah. a person that people gravitate towards. Charisma. Yeah. Yeah. That's cool. I really got to force my charisma. Well, I don't think so. It's like it, a it, fucking trapped fart. And it, That's how I feel about my Riz. I feel Riz. Yeah, Riz. I I, I, <laughs> I, I feel the same about mine. Yeah? I've been working on it for a long time. Mm-hmm. You're supposed to act like you don't care, but yeah. really you care. Right. But if you can see that you care, even when I'm recording vocals, like the whole thing is to deliver the rhymes, like you don't care. Yeah. But it's like, it's taken me 700 takes to get that not care. You know, you gotta get How much time do you spend in the studio? A lot, a lot, because it's at my house. So, um, while the kids are at school, I'm usually taking vocals, experimenting with different types of raps and stuff. So, yeah. yeah. And I write comic books too. So that's. Really? Yeah. Because Zarface is. A, a character that exists in the comic book world and it's like the front man for our the, the mascot for our group so okay. all the art features czarface is ironclad hero villain anti-hero guy and um so i write graphic novels to go along with some of the the albums That's that we smart. do and so we have the action figures and the sneakers and sounds like a know. lot of merch yeah you, you can't uh you can't stream an action figure you know what i mean so you gotta no. get you get paid that way hell yeah yeah so it's fun, and it's it's a good way to engage with my son, who, you know, helped inspire the whole thing at that age when we first started doing Zarface stuff. 
he was probably four and okay. I kind of wanted to give him his own superhero, his own personal guy mm. while I was doing the music with Inspector Deck from Wu-Tang and 7L. And I said, what, what can we do here to, to make this, so I can be in my kid's life and present with him at all times and continue doing the music stuff. So yeah. kind of, you know, this czar face thing seemed like a pretty good idea. Yeah. And then I could just go full steroids on, on back to my childhood. Fuck yeah. Superheroes. I feel like Zarface could like fuck the shit out of Bluey, fuck him up, you know? Well, yeah. I feel like all these kids are watching fucking Bluey, these weak little bitches, and they yeah. should really be on some Zarface Zar shit. shit. Yeah, I, I agree. I agree. But fuck we need Bluey. We need an animated show, which is may Sell come down one. the line at some point. Yeah, Adult Sell Swim. Uh, no, in. I know, I know. Get it. Yeah, maybe you could do that a voiceover for, for that. Me, yeah, do you need a nasal? Yeah. Um, middle-aged <laughs> trying to be younger that's a good character <laughs> yeah that's you could be star face's mom that would be great <laughs> i'm gonna put that in my bio anyway now just to manifest it <laughs> sure speak it into the universe this is a beautiful view star faces mom i wish i was higher i wish i was up higher yeah. this is where i'm a peasant down here on the fourth floor uh, i see all my dog mom friends they're all up on high floors well guess what they have to go further down to let their dog take a leak it's true whereas you know you can just kind of just hang uh mabel out the window just and toss her out the yeah. fucking window yeah she would survive without me yeah th there's something about those up high views though it's like you it, they're like living in clouds uh, i see yeah yeah you like to have a, a nice clear view well my thing is i've lived in new york for 20 years and i lived in harlem and bushwick and forest hills and east village and every shitty fucking neighborhood there is this is the first time that i've been here for i don't know three years I've had like a nice place. Oh, nice. Thanks. Nice. Yeah, I was uh, pretty fucking poor for a long time. Okay. All right. Yeah. Well, this is beautiful. Yeah. Hey, well thanks. done. Hey, well thanks. done. Mabel is lucky to, to share your domicile. <laughs> I know. Does she look out this window ever? She does. Okay. That's she awesome. stares out. I'll crack it a little. She smells it. She, yeah. she lives her best life. We're outside at 6 a.m. every day playing her frisbee. I, oh. I let her off leash then. Oh, nice. That's a gamble. It is. But it's but worth it, it. But it's also like you said, the Pipple, the gun on a leash thing. Yeah. Like Mabel just knows. Like she loves all people. Okay. But she can tell a crackhead. She can tell a crazy. Oh, yeah. She has a good. Her hump read. stick up on her back and she'll hackles. just start growling. Call those hackles. All right. Hackles. Sorry, hackles. To, uh, tap in to the <laughs> dog slang. <laughs> I, uh, I, I'm, I'm being really serious. It's not just for the podcast or for. Uh, I love Mabel. <laughs> I know. I love Mabel. I she spent, loves you too. I know. I love her more than she loves me. <laughs> I don't think so. I, I, I'm telling you. I'm telling you. That dog is awesome. Perfect she size. Is. Perfect disposition. Beautiful she's dog. She's good, right? Yeah. Yeah. She's People a don't great like dog. her. You're one of the few. My oh. even like my best friend. Like they're just a little scared of her. Okay. And I feel the same way. Like I just think she's a big love bug. She's a little yeah. intense. Yeah. But That's, she's only two. Yeah. She's, she's gonna, she'll be a puppy for another ten years. No. And then she'll croak, and that'd be terrible. Dude, it sucks. Right? I know, but but How she many seems. How dogs have you put to sleep? Uh, I've I've like family dogs. It's I, there's like four or five, but mm. like personal dogs, I've done one so far, and okay. it was the worst fucking. Well, let me months uh, of my life. Let me. I need something to make me not cry here. But uh, is it <laughs> no, a beta cry. blocker? What the? Uh, they love it when we cry. Yeah. Do you cry on this show? Have I ever cried before? Not with me here. No. Okay. I don't think I've ever cried. Well, Logan. I will, though. Logan? Yeah, who, who is our yellow the lab. yellow lab, right? Yeah. Yeah. Yep. Uh, um, it was time for him. It was probably past time. <sighs> you know, you <sighs> just drag it out and you realize you're being selfish. And, yep. And I won't get into detail about, about it, but it was just time. And I've try, I tried everything to keep him younger and so forth. And then we had a... Uh, a visiting vet come to do it. Uh, That's how my did home. it. That's how I did it. Oh, you did? Oh, yeah. yeah, yeah. I, People I just, don't know they can do that. Yeah, maybe they don't. You know, or they don't want to spend the extra they, hundred bucks yeah, or whatever it was. Yeah, I don't know. yeah. I, but it was really one of the hardest things uh, I've ever had to do. And yeah. and once you know it happened, I had to carry him out of the house. Oh. And then it's uh, when you carry a a lifeless yeah. dog, it's a lot different than carrying it. 
sleeping dog or yes. you know um, you know it just oh that you see their soul yeah. with their body. he died yeah. in my my Ernest died in my lap he's in that box right there that's Ernest oh that's his name's convenient for the <laughs> the, the where you the urn uh, <laughs> uh, I, no you never put that to, you put that together you're uh, humoring no. me really no because I think urn with e not you right okay yeah but well I was being sense. earnest I think. <laughs> Uh, I think this is that's too bad. And that is that Ernest the photo there? Yeah. Oh, okay, I'm sorry. But it's hard. It's hard because, you know, dogs just they uh, don't they do not play fair. They're here for, you know, 10 know. 15 years and then they Ugh. leave you. But How long did you last before you got a new dog? It was pretty quick and it it's something that we did not we said, "Oh, that's it." Right. Can't, there'll never be another Logan. Right. And there still never will be another yeah. Logan. And we've been, cha- I personally have been chasing that, what I had with Logan. And that's yeah. why we have two dogs now, <laughs> Psycho and, and Dud. And, <laughs> and I, I love them both. But um, it was right when the pandemic happened. So right w- when we put Logan to sleep, the pandemic started. So he kind of kicked it all off. And, and, <laughs> it was him. He started yeah. it. Yeah. And uh, it was just, we were all, in the house, isolated and kind of mourning Logan. And I, I was probably a couple months, but okay. I felt I lasted I, eight days. Oh, eight days. Oh, wow. Yeah. <laughs> I was a mess. Yeah, it's hard. It's hard. And you, you look for a patch to heal yeah. the wound or something, you know, and you bring in another dog. That, and the thing is that dogs need that. Yeah. You know, you, you would reason that Ernest would want you to make room in your life for another dog. Yeah. You know what I mean? Because he still shows up on my stories when I do oh, my Instagram. S- like, do you believe in orbs? Uh, is that a, a g- You know what game? orbs are, Nicole? Okay. Is this because I made you know? No, I are used you to watch before? a lot of ghost adventures, okay, actually. Okay, cool. So okay. I'm very cool. familiar. I forget how cool you are. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> love Zach Bagans. <laughs> you know, just used to watch a lot of ghost adventure videos. No, yeah. orbs are like these little lights that show up in photos or like videos. And they're supposed oh, yeah, to yeah. be like okay. spirits, you know? Yes, yes. I, I, okay, I just didn't know the name so, for them. I usually call them apparitions. Yeah, okay. Or, uh, and I'm playing with Mabel like out like pitch black in the morning with her frisbee. And then there's a little orb going with her back and forth. And I'm like, that's Ernest. Oh, that's he cool. He loves fetch too. He's playing ball too. Oh, that's a great way to look at it. Yeah. No fucking chance that's what it is. But uh, <laughs> I'm, <laughs> I'm kidding. I'm kidding. I, I think that's awesome. And I, you know, when my dad passed and when Logan passed, I, I saw signs all the time, yeah. you know, and you wonder if that's your brain trying to cope with it. And ca- yeah. you know what I mean? Like, any song that I hear, oh, my dad loved that song. Or, huh. you know, why am I here right now in Target hearing this song? Because my dad just died two minutes ago. You know what I mean? It's just these type yeah. of things that you, you draw connections to that help you make sense of losing someone so close. My parents better not die. Well, they probably won't. And I just worry that my dad's going to die first and my mom's going to move in here. Oh, yeah. We'll probably get a two-bedroom. But I've been looking up like... like um caretaking stuff if she moves in and i take care of her i get 37 bucks an hour oh yeah i saw i saw that <laughs> situation i looked into that myself and uh <laughs> you want to take care of my mom <laughs> i was talking about my mom uh but my mom uh she would yeah it, it would not work out um, oh i know i'm like mom i'm like 3 p.m is nap time and by that i mean that's when i go masturbate and she better make herself scarce I see. Yeah, I don't. Yeah. I don't need to think about my mom while I'm getting down to business. In Can you do bed. that in the shower while she's watching no. the Price is Right? No, or I need a laptop up to my neck, <laughs> <laughs> and I need to see all of my folds in the laptop <laughs> projection. <laughs> I need to be looking as hideous as possible <laughs> in order to come. <laughs> okay. <laughs> no, oh. I'm hoping that my cause I I got my dad a personal trainer. Um for Christmas, a little before Christmas. Nice. And he's actually been sticking with it. Oh, that's great. Yeah. That is so really cool. They're like these like Cape Cod. My parents live on the Cape. Oh, nice. So they're like, they really get along. These two guys, they love birds of prey and nature. And Oh, that's that's awesome. Talking about shit like that. We're down the Cape. They're in Hyannis. Oh, cool. Hardstable. Oh, oh, very cool. Yeah. Did you summer in the Cape? Uh, you- Falmouth. Falmouth, yeah. where my brother lives. Oh, really? Falmouth, like Woods Hole. Yeah, we, yeah, we spent some time in Woods Hole. Oh, yeah. 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 I love yeah. the vineyard. Yeah. yeah. My brother's so. a vineyard guy. My parents are Nantucket. Oh, really? Okay. Yeah. I like, I like both. You yeah. know what I mean? But yeah. it's, it's, you know, it's a commitment when you go over there, you yeah. know? 
Um, sometimes I take the plane over there and then, uh, no, I don't. Do you really? No, my buddy the DJ's, in, no, my buddy DJ's in, in uh, Nantucket and he'll take the, the plane over. That's cool. You know, and I'm like, that's kind of risky for the DJ gig, but he, <laughs> he, uh, he has fun. So wait, he flies a plane or he takes a little puddle jumper from Boston to Nantucket? The puddle jumper. I've been on yeah. that plane. Oh yeah. It's like yeah. an eight seater. Yeah. It's scary. Yeah. No. Cause I, like not... they open the windows and you're like, I'm in a bus in the sky. Right. <laughs> Oh uh, yeah, and and sometimes if you sit like on one side of the plane, yeah, depending on what size you are, yeah, you have to go over to they'll shift you over because that's how they organize the the seating and everything. I know, and then they tell you not allowed to use your phone because it'll mess up with the yeah. I do every time. And I'm like, look at me, I'm in the sky. Oh, my yes. uncle, my dead uncle, R.I.P. Uncle Bob, he had a pilot's license, and he would take us up in his like two seater. Oh wow. And he was reckless. He was a raging alcoholic. He was probably drunk half the time we were up there. And he would do these <sighs> nose dives with it was absolutely terrifying. And then wow. he'd pull up at the last really? minute. Yeah. Really? Yeah. That's my worst fear. You know, I feel like you can be drunk and do a boat. Yeah. Yeah. But not a plane. No, I couldn't agree more. And I don't think he was like blackout. I think he was maybe like buzzed. Right. But have you seen the billboards along the highways? <laughs> Buzz driving is <laughs> drunk driving. driving. So flying. Yeah. He couldn't uh, see those signs from up high. You couldn't know. No. no. He didn't know. But that's wild. Yeah. Uncle Bob. Yeah. I hate flying. I hate flying. Do something. you? Yeah, yeah. All of it. I absolutely hate First it. First class? Every time. No, 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 no. I fly coach. Yeah. Uh, I'm a man of the people. Okay. And uh, no, but every time, no matter what the type of plane it is, I'm terrified. You hate it. Every time. Every dad. time. You know, my dad's white knuckling it. He, yeah, like, so he your can't dad, handle it. Your dad is logical. And we and tease him. Do your kids tease you? No, I don't let them see me. Do you <laughs> know what smart. I mean? Yeah. <laughs> we I, would I, fuck with my dad. Oh, really? My brother was such a pain in the ass. He's like 12 years old. He's like, dad, this thing's supposed to have two wings. <laughs> He'd be like, dad, I think I just saw something fly out of the engine. <laughs> my dad's like, Michael, shut the fuck up. That's great. That's awesome. That is a good, that's good that, 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 that he has that humor and, yeah. and it isn't terrified. You know the dead. Tower of Terror in Disney yeah. World? Yeah. There is a picture, my mom and I on either side of my dad. I, God, no, why he agreed to go on that ride when he's terrified of heights. Uh, the picture, they take a picture of you in the middle of the draw. Yeah. And so my dad, again, like white knuckles, his whole face is bright red. He's just like fucking terrified. <laughs> and my mother and I just looking at him dying laughing. Huge smiles on our face. Poor guy. <laughs> That's a good, well, you made a moment there. That's a good, good picture, I guess. Poor right? guy. Yeah. But you hate flying. Oh, I, I, yeah, absolutely. And I, and most of the times I'm flying, I'm not with my family. Right. I'm, I'm going to gigs. do shows or yeah. whatever, you know? And yeah. I'm like, every time I'm like, I'm risking my life for this, risking my life. And I, I know that sounds dramatic, but you know, it's just kind of like if something goes wrong. Yeah. You see that Alaska flight with the yeah, window the thing open? Popped out. Yeah. Yeah. The, the whole side door popped off. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Oh yeah. Everything's fine. That's crazy. Yeah, I was on a, I, I was, I, I've told this story before, but I was on a flight uh, about a year ago that uh, the landing gear popped as we were taking off. And for five hours, the captain never addressed it. And it was a big explosion, like, and I was like, all right, this is it. Why right. is the captain uh, talking about yeah. this, letting us know? And I'm looking He's at the hammered. flight attendants. Yeah. No, no, <laughs> no, no. There are people crying. Oh my God. It was awful. And uh, we made an emergency landing in Phoenix, and I drove to LA from Phoenix. So I wasn't going to get on another flight after I that. Don't but blame you. but it, was, it was when we landed, there were, there were fire engines chasing us. The plane was on fire. Jesus there fuck. Yep, yeah, yep. Yeah, and there were uh, police dogs down there, which was a little bit. You know, it, it calmed me down yeah, a little bet, bit yeah. once the plane landed, yeah. and I saw them out there. I was like, "Oh, I got! I want to go get a picture with those yeah, dogs." Canine, <laughs> canine unit. Yeah, uh, I watch canine unit videos all the time oh. with like German shepherds and like the Belgian Malinois. Yeah, the, the ones that can jump into a car window and pull a criminal out with yeah. their mouths. It's fucking smart dogs. It's incredible. Yeah. All while getting punched, you know what I mean? Like these psycho fucking crackheads that they're pulling out of these yeah. cars or whatever. One track mind, the dog I mean, get that target and bring them out. Malinois are great. I just like the somebody there's a couple that has one in this neighborhood and her name whatever, it doesn't matter. I don't need to her name's Luna. And we were playing one day and uh the dog latch like mabel's pretty mouthy and like i wrestle yeah. with her and she just knows exactly how hard to bite or not to bite mm. this dog luna had my arm in her mouth and i looked at her mom i was like she's not letting go like she like, clamped down a little and i was like i don't know like i love all dogs too but 
if you're gonna have a Belgian Malinois yeah. as your family pet, I don't know. Yeah, I don't yeah. know. It's just like that's a military dog. Like the, they're just bred for work. Yeah, they like to work. They need a job. Yeah. Yeah. Mabel's very similar. Mabel is such a working dog. She just wants to like play with her frisbee mm -hmm. every morning, and then people will let their little doodles run up to her. Like, don't worry, my dog's friendly. And I'm like, well, if they touch her frisbee, she's gonna fucking kill him. Yeah, it's a thing. Like, you probably notice, and I know you let Mabel off leash. I let my dogs off leash too. But when you're walking down, you see someone on a sidewalk on a busy street. Yeah. And their dog is off leash. Oh, that's crazy to because, me. Because, you know, they have they have a good read on their dog. Right. They understand that their dog is not going to go anywhere. Yeah. But no one else does. Right. You know what I mean? So it makes everyone else too nervous. too many variables. Yeah. It's like, yes, maybe if that dog sees a squirrel, it's not going to dart across the street. You have great control of the dog. So impressed. That's great. But everyone else starts to worry, like... You know what I yeah, mean? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And, and it, it could happen, as it, far as we know. Exactly. And, and, and it's just like the uh, other dogs are the like variable, too. Like yeah. this couple had their little puppy, and they he was on a leash, but they let the leash go. And the puppy was just going. Mabel and I are walking. I have her on her leash. And the puppy's just going up to strangers, just running up. Any dog it sees running up, sniffing, sniffing. And I'm like, Mabel's not going to take kindly to this. Like yeah. Mabel's like Drake. She's like, no new friends. She has her pack. <laughs> And she likes a certain group of dogs. Yeah. And and that's not to say she won't eventually like dogs, but she has to go through a warm up period. She's just not fast friends like that. Like she doesn't like dogs go to the dog park to play with other dogs. Yeah. Mabel goes to the dog park to play with her frisbee. Yeah. And that's kind of she'll tolerate the other dog. But if she's inside with her friends, it's mm -hmm. all play. It's play, play, play. Yeah. Weird. She's yeah. Weird. She's a lot. Well, what are you gonna again, do? I'll take her. You can have her. I'm going to take her back to Boston. So how often are you doing live shows? How often are you on the road? What's Stoddard's Neck and Hingham is a great place to bring your dog. Stoddard's Neck? Stoddard's Neck, yeah, and Hingham. Is it uh, like a beach? It's it's got surrounded by three different bodies. Three it's three parts of it is all surrounded by water, and yeah. the rest is fenced in. It's great. Actually, Hingham's not really close to Marshfield, is it? It is. Like oh, it 15, is? 15, 20 minutes. 15, 20 minutes, yeah. Not that you're there like either. You're here in New York City. That's true. So back to the rap stuff, what? <laughs> no, I don't know. I was just curious about... You know, your tour schedule, oh, what's, yeah. what's the vibe? What's, yeah, uh, we, we do uh, plenty of shows, but um, we'd like to do some more. Yeah. Um, it's tough because we're at the mercy of the Wu-Tang Clan schedule uh, because having the guy that I rhyme with is part of Wu-Tang, so Wu-Tang stuff usually comes first. Takes precedent? Yeah. Can you, know. you tour with them kind of too? Can he? Does he bring you yeah, there? It seems, seems, yeah, I've been to some Wu-Tang shows, but it's <laughs> not letting my ass on stage no? with them. I would. To do to do Zara. Oh, thank you. Yeah. Thank you. Yeah, do Zara uh, face. Bro. Yeah, maybe I'll do something with Schoolboy Q and um I'm knowing. Yeah. <laughs> um so yeah, a we'll lot of the shows Quincy. that we Yeah. <laughs> ah, next time a girl DMs me, I'm gonna <laughs> I'm gonna say You got a I lot of groupies? Believe, what are yeah, the groupies like? I can't I can't believe you call me <laughs> SO. Is that what, what he said? No, yeah. yeah. He just said, I can't believe you called me schoolboy Q. But that's how funny. I knew him. I didn't no, know I know. what else to say. I know. I know. But I guess that's the that's a charming reply. And he's naturally charismatic. You skipped over the groupies question. You don't want to talk about him? Oh, yeah. No, no. I'll talk about him. Are they I, But there's not. No. There's. We. No, they're polite. Yeah. Nice I, groupies. Yeah. There's not a lot of groupies. You know, people just like the music. Okay. Do I look like someone that attracts groupies? I don't know, man. These hoes. I'm sitting here. <laughs> These hoes. Thank these, you. These hoes like what they you like. You're supposed to say yes. You know? <laughs> well, I'm sitting here displaying my stomach like this. This is the, the, the least flattering way I could sit. And you got the like, riz, though. You got the swag. Okay. That's what they care about. Thank you. Yeah. And they can feel it through our parasocial relationships on Instagram. Absolutely. Uh, but I can't do anything with them anyway. You know? I'm, right. You're I'm married. Lock style. Yeah. Yep. That, that ship has sailed. So there are a lot of times I go and I see attractive women walking. Mm hmm. And I go up to them, and but they have a dog. They think I want to talk. I, I assume that they think that I'm rolling over on my back to have the St. Bernard <laughs> jump on me to flirt with them. And no, it's just not the case. I just dog. want the interaction I with know. the dog. I do too. You know, it's it's a it's it's such a... I almost want the other person to leave. Yeah, yeah. I'm like, can you go? Leave me alone with your dog. It's kind of how I'm feeling right now. <laughs> <laughs> I let Mabel back out. No, no. <laughs> she hasn't been out since two. That's awful. <laughs> that is awful. If you're listening at no, home, it, it is isn't. 11 o'clock at night. No, it's not. <laughs> that would be so terrible. Yeah. I'm a, She has the like sweetest schedule. She's outside like a lot. A dog of her size can hold her bladder for a while. 
Yeah, she's you know. good. The thing is, as long as Mabel gets her like hardcore exercise in the morning, she's a pretty good dog. Nicole, um, how often does she talk about Mabel on this show? It's psychotic. Oh, okay. Well, Every Mabel's episode. like a member of the show. Yeah. Right. No, I, I, I picked that up. Oh uh, yeah, you have a screensaver. That's nice. I like that you have your dog. I also I don't know why, like, but you talked about your dogs a lot too. Absolutely. Yeah. I'm just wondering if this is atypical for this show where it's like a segment. It, it's oh, okay because you know, Karen. Oh, that's awesome. Uh, that is great. Uh, <laughs> Karen is saying, so tell me more about the rap. And I said, well, I like St. Bernard's. You know, and it's, 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 it's I don't know bo- whether, I don't know I'm whether try- I'm Listen, steering we have a lot it. of class D license holders. We have a lot of hardworking blue collar men that listen to the show that you might, you know, they might already be fans of yours or okay. they might be, you know, ready to jump on the bandwagon. What is class D? What does that mean? A commercial. Oh, oh, oh correct. Okay. Okay. All right. Okay. I thought you meant like lower tier. No, people. no, just. Okay. You know, the not. salt of the earth, like okay. hardworking trade school graduate men. Good. Yeah, I salute them. I do too. I'm in love with this new garbage collector from fucking Massachusetts. I think he's from Massachusetts. His accent's so good. I DM'd him and he didn't get back to me. He only has 30K followers. I'm like, how did you meet him? <laughs> Some of the logic here. On the internet, what? Nicole, I meet everyone on the internet. Hang on a second. What? Hang on a second. Yeah. Break this down for me again. So he, he, he works in sanitation. I believe so. Okay. Construction, sanitation, snow plowing. Okay. That's great. Yeah. Um, and he has 30,000 followers. Yeah. Cause he's posting these front facing videos and they're fucking hilarious. Okay. So he's a comedian. Not like me. <laughs> well, uh, <laughs> not the kind that does porn on the side. <laughs> uh, <what>? <laughs> <laughs> not a well-respected New York City comic who does porn on the side like me. <laughs> he is a garbage collector. <laughs> uh, well, but he's an influencer at the same time. Yeah. Okay. Thank you, Nicole. Thank you for coming. Well, that clean was a about question, this. actually. Yeah. That yeah. was. It was a question. I mean, I feel like he wasn't an influencer when he started. I, whenever I think about him, I sat talking like this. I'm like fucking. Dunkin and you have Donuts. your laptop on your chest like this. Right? Yeah. You, fucking uh, wicked retarded. Uh, uh, I love him. And what's his name? I don't know. I think like Depo. Uh, why would you? Jump into his DMs and not even know his name. Because his name doesn't make sense. It's like Zed or something. And he, Zed yeah, is, Zeb. Zeb? Look, I, look at, he hasn't seen me yet, but I've, te- I've messaged him, I'm in love with you. That is... Uh, Nicole. If Teresa did it, I would do it, so I'm going to hold up my end of the bargain. Uh, no shirt, so if you're squeamish, there's going to be PG-13 and no shoes. These shoes come off, all right? She's coming up. I got to put you in the snow. She's probably married. She did, she did 30 seconds. Oh, but... Look at him. Uh, I love him. I don't I'm in the front of the house. <laughs> so, so, I'm back. Okay. so he might not know to check that area of the inbox. I know, but I'm... I, SO. What? I've liked every one of his goddamn posts. Really? Yeah. Some I've unliked and gone back and re-liked. All right, so you're a little crazy. So, no, do, do, do you comment? I haven't yet. What, what do you, I mean, you should, should I leave comment? a comment. All right, I'll comment. Where because I, that's what, that is his love comment? language. I, I, plant emoji. I, look at that chest. You know, <laughs> something like that. Is there an emoji for a snowplow or whatever he yes, does? Yes, now we're talking. You know, and. Um, what, you would snowplow my butt. Should I write that? Right, write that in emojis. <laughs> um, eggplant, eggplant, eggplant. Yeah. I, <laughs> Yeah. I, I, listen, we'll, His mom answers, um, I run this account for my son and he doesn't want anything to do <laughs> with your fucking ass. The scenarios Stay you're in inventing with this person. I mean, yeah. you, you might not even have a mom. Let's hope not. Well, you could be his mom. <laughs> I, not, not, I mean, I don't know. Whatever you're into. I love guys without moms. That's well. <laughs> my last guy I dated, he was a trust fund kid. His mom bought okay. him an apartment and then she found my OnlyFans and we broke up. Oh. Because of her. She's a fucking bitch. Oh. What's her oh. name? Liz. So, okay. Okay. So his mom, you were dating someone. Yep. And then the mom found your OnlyFans. Yep. And she sent it to him and she was like, you don't have any respect for yourself. Look at this slut you're dating. Oh, wow. Yeah. And he's like, you're right. <laughs> how like, old? You know what? How old was his mom? Um, to find the OnlyFans. Probably late 50s. Yeah, you could. Yeah, yeah, yeah. She's pretty hip too. Okay. 
I think I've said her name before on this podcast. Liz McIver. So uh, how old she's is he? 34. Oh, okay. She started this magazine called Streeters and then sold it for millions of dollars. And now she has a fucking vineyard in Portugal. She can go fuck herself. Wow. I was wow. like, you've robbed your son of ambition. I find that when with like trust fund kids mm-hmm. and people whose parents bankroll their lives, yeah. it leads to so much depression and anxiety. You know what I mean? Yeah. Because they, you have no purpose. You have no reason yeah. to be. Yeah. I, I hear you. I hear you. I yeah. guess it's a, it's a case by case situation, sure. but, but you know, everything that goes through my head, it's like, I want to make this right for my kids. I don't right. want my kids to have any worries about anything. I want, you know, and I'm, anytime I think about making money, I think about that. It's for them. Sure. You know, but I don't want to make it so comfortable. No. Where. I mean, Shaq doesn't fucking bankroll his kid's life. What's yeah. his name? Um, The Kung Fu guy, Jackie Chan. Yeah. Didn't leave his kids anything. Oh, wow. Didn't leave him a dime. He left it all to like lovers and like organizations and shit. Oh, really? Yeah. And his kids were pissed. Yeah. A lot of kids come out of the woodwork when they have like rich parents. Like they're like, where's mine? Where's mine? It's like, fuck you, little brat. You can fucking make it. Yeah. I mean, you've been, you're already, uh, you've already won in the sense of like your lifestyle and how you're going to grow up and be fed and the opportunities you've had just yeah. because of how hard your parents work. So like if you can't flip that into something on your own. That's too bad about you. Yeah. Then yeah. That suicide rates with trust fund kids are very high. Really? Yeah. Oh, wow. It's surprising because you're like, what What would they be sad about? Everything is at the tip of their f- fingers. But imagine a life of never feeling accomplished. Yeah. And even if you do accomplish something, because that's the other thing, even if you do, so there's somebody going, well, of course you got it. Your mom's a fucking da-da-da. Right. Of course you got it. You didn't have to work while we were paying rent. You know? Right. Whatever. Born on third base, right? Never. That's the expression. <laughs> I'm boring right now. You're All what? Right. I'm being boring. That's a, is that boring? I was. That's an interesting rant, I guess. <laughs> I, I'm just good I, rant. I I just don't. I yeah. I I I can relate completely. To, you know, I know a few people like that, but yeah, I don't want them to hear me talk shit on t- them. Talk shit about because they're yeah. not bad people. Yeah, but yeah, but I just I don't relate. I, to I get it. jealous sometimes. You know, sure, I mean? you think you are. Yeah. yeah, and I would like. That's the thing. Like I talk all the shit in the world about my ex. He actually still trains me sometimes. He's a physical trainer. Just such okay. a joke of a job, but um. I talk, I talk so much shit because I could never relate to him. A joke of a job. <laughs> Gee, who else can we tear down here? Yeah. I know some personal trainers that really take it seriously. They know their craft and they're great at it. Yeah, he actually has like a sports medicine degree. He is okay. knowledgeable. Okay. But when nice. it comes down to it, you're just telling people to do jumping jacks, whatever. I Yeah, well, you got to get that out of them. You got to motivate them to do it. It's and, true. And, you know, That's so what you're you get... paying for, the motivation yeah, a lot of the time. definitely. I had a personal trainer once, and I was in the best shape of my life because of him. Yeah. And then my daughter was born, and I just started getting grilled cheeses at Dunkin' Donuts at like four in the morning and just, um. just, just doing anything to survive and get through. And <laughs> here I am today, like job of the hut. Um, when they were like, how? what's the age difference between your kids? Like, um. Uh, my son's 15 and Allie is nine. So okay. 15 and nine. So it's six years. Yeah. Pretty, pretty long time. Pretty good. That's cool. like, cause a six year old can be rel- kind of helpful when you've got a new baby. Yeah. I yeah. would assume. Yeah. He was great. He was great. He's a good big brother. Yeah. But just seeing them together, you know, having that, it was kind of relearning the whole situation when she came along, you know, Oh, diapers. That's right. Oh, yeah. it's a pain yeah, in the yeah, ass. Yeah, that's yeah, right. Yeah, yeah. But then there's so many good things too yeah. that, that, you know, that you just, uh, you know, I like that age difference. I think my, if my brother and I were a little further away in age, we would have been closer growing up. Oh yeah. Yeah. Well they, they get along. They, sometimes they fight and they they get really, you know, petty and and catty with each other. And and sometimes he'll try to manipulate her and that throw on a tantrum when she shouldn't, you know, just little things, (laughs) but, but there are times when they just hit it off and it's just the best, best vibe. It's a good feeling having a big brother when who's like, and it's hard for the big brother, I think, because he's going through all these life experiences first. Yeah. So it was easier for me. I feel after watching my brother get in trouble for drinking, I'm like, Oh, learn how to fucking, you know, Use Visine if you're going to smoke weed. Mom and dad are going to know. Have your lies straight. <laughs> like, right, right. Like, the, the jewels. Yeah. <laughs> like, do do all, like, don't make all the mistakes that he made. But yeah. we were too close in age. I think we were only two and a half, three years apart. And, like, my brother's friends wanted to date me, thought I was hot, this and that. And it really just made my brother hate me. Ah, uh, I see. Yeah. 
because yeah. they would tease him, like his friends. Yeah, that's something we have. Like, maybe we'll look forward no, to that. It's going to be better. Six years is such a, you know, he'll be a senior when she's still in junior high. Okay. Right? He'll be like uh, 18. Oh, oh. Yeah, when yeah, she's yeah, like yeah. 12. Yep. It's yep. kind of perfect because he'll be like a man almost. Yeah. Yeah. And yeah. so he'll, like with all the stuff that she'll have to go through because it's harder being a girl. Oh, I'm sure it is. I'm sure. It's just nice to have like somebody that you know is looking out for you. Definitely, definitely. And I think he he's he fits the role. He's my, you know, he's a big kid. He's my size. And oh he's, wow. He's only 15, so he's going to be bigger than me. And wow. He's taking boxing lessons. And Hell yeah. Plays football. Plays a guitar. He draws. He's a very active kid. He's a renaissance man. He's he's blowing Both my left mind. Left and right brain. Blowing my mind lately. Yes, yeah. He is uh, neurologically ambidextrous. Hell yeah. Uh, <laughs> that, no. no, I couldn't draw for shit. Like yeah. And I have no musical talent whatsoever. Or knowledge. Um, <laughs> <laughs> if DeRosa was here, he'd be fucking like just ripping on me so oh, much I, harder than I you. I said, had. hey, can you come with me to this yeah, thing? Because yeah, yeah. you know, I'm not going to just knock DeRosa, on the door by oh, myself. You know what? We went to the sandwich shop once. I was like, he's never done my pod, but he. we went to his sandwich. Oh, you did? Jo Joey Rose's. Joey Rose's. Yeah, it's a great, great place. Wait, what did you say? What were you saying just now? Oh, I, I, was, I, I said to him, I was like, hey, did you, why don't you come with me? Yeah. To this because I'm gonna feel pretty awkward just kind of <laughs> leaping into this myself. And he's like, no, no, no. It's just, I, 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 I want to come, but I, he's out of state right now. Anyway, he's on the road. Uh, yeah, he's not. He's yeah. I'm not. I don't know if I'm. I'm on. I'm NDA'd up. Oh, so, maybe no. he's shooting something cool. <laughs> maybe he's evading taxes. I don't know. Maybe he's just fucking lying, so he doesn't have to come here. Absolutely. Um, maybe he's playing video games. He likes video games. I yeah, know. but that's quite a bar he has. That place is great. Have you had yeah. the sandwiches? I haven't. I had a drink there. We okay. went. We did a show. He his band performed at Arlene's Grocery, uh -huh. and uh, I went down, went over there for that, and I did a little set, um, right. and that was fun. And then after that, we went to uh, his bar. Yeah, you know, and um, Sal Vulcano was there. Yep, and he he invited me to the SNL after party. For Nate Bragazzi. Oh, it's like fun. I'm, going, I'm going to see uh going to see Nate Bragazzi yeah. for uh the SNL after party. And I was like, oh yeah. And and my wife was like, really? And I was like, yeah. And so I was like, yeah, yeah. So you guys want to come, you know? And I was I, I felt like as the words were leaving his mouth, I was like, you are full of shit, aren't right? you? are not gonna take us, you know? And I was thinking to myself, I I told I told Joe I was gonna go to the bar. Mm. Check out his bar. Yeah. You know? So I was weighing the two options. They were gonna go their separate ways. What are we going to do? Are we going to go to the Saturday Night Live thing? Yeah. Once in a lifetime thing? Right. Or are we going to go pay our respect to Joey Roses who stayed loyal and went to Joey <laughs> Roses? <laughs> Those fucking after... I've been to a couple SNL after, oh, yeah. after, after, after parties. Yeah, oh. they're just fucking dark rooms and people trying to fucking say hi to the coolest people there. Oh, okay. That's like, what I would have been doing. Yeah. Like Chappelle would do a lot of shows at the stand during the pandemic and like have all these like parties and... There was like one night it was like him and like Buster Rhymes was there. He brought Kanye oh, one wait. night. That's one of the first time I hung out with Joe. Yeah. We were doing a show at Sony Hall. Joe came to the show and then Joe brought, uh, said, hey, I'm going to this. Uh, I you performed at Sony Hall before. Oh, you have? Yeah. Oh, awesome. Comedy. Cool venue. We, we did Frantic there. Yeah. Oh, very cool. Yeah. So me and Joe wound up at a Dave Chappelle show, like a private show, and Busta Rhymes and Q-Tip were performing. Yeah. And, uh, you know, we couldn't bring our phones in or anything. Mm -hmm. They bag them? Did they put they them in? They bagged them, yeah. yeah. And I was like, this, just like the comedy mothership when mm -hmm. I was there. Yeah. The guy, the security guy took my phone, and, I, and he was like, sorry, Mr. Rogan's rules. And I was like- Took your phone? Who were you there phone. with? Uh, Did you just- Segura. Yeah, they, but I didn't go in with him. Yeah, that, they're fucking, like, those guys, Torin, I know who does that. I have- been to the mothership a few times mm -hmm. i forget if it was the first or second time i was there i hooked up with one of the security guards good for you thank you so much i know what did i get in this business for not to fuck one of rogan's fucking security guys fuck out of here i do what i want <laughs> so there's a the difference right there's the door guys who are comics and then okay. his security guys are like marines and mma guys okay and like fucking dudes this yeah yeah i could tell i wasn't gonna get far with this guy you know it was and i was just like all right, so you're taking my phone, yeah. and uh, Duncan Trussell was performing, okay. was, and and uh, I watched the show, and it's like, 
It's like I'm not. It didn't even go. I, <laughs> no proof. I have no pictures Fucking here. proof. I know. Luckily, when you do comedy there, they always have like a pro photographer that's like snapping shots. So I usually make it on their Instagram or whatever. But oh, okay. same feeling. I'm like. Yeah. So then I. So I had hooked up with the security guy one time, and then he'd are like always like messaged me like, "When are you coming back? When are you coming back?" Mm. And then. I came back, but I was dating a new guy. I brought this like other MMA guy with me. Oh, okay. And I'm trying to finagle it. I'm talking to the other comics that work at the mothership. I'm like, is this guy working? Maybe he's off tonight. And they're like, oh, he's off. He's off. I'm like, great. Easy peasy. We're walking in. My friend Liz texts me 2 p.m. that afternoon. He picked up a shift. He's here. <laughs> Fuck. <laughs> Fuck. <laughs> So then I message him. I'm like, jigs up, whatever. I just got to Cause I'm going to walk in with this guy and they're going to give him a fucking hard time. No matter mm. what, I might as well just like be like, Hey, listen, I know we hooked up, but I've got another guy with me. Just like, be cool. He was such a dick to him. He was probably 10 times meaner than if I hadn't said anything. He took his phone. He's like, he's not allowed in the green room. I'll escort him to his seat. Are you All serious? Yeah. Oh, wow. Yeah. Oh, and they're both MMA guys. Is that one, your one type? One was a Marine. One was an MMA. Oh, yeah. yeah okay. it is my type. I like big, dumb, slight signs of CTE. Okay. That's my, I don't like these emotors. I'm not interested in right. flowery language. Okay. You uh, just want no bullshit, just brute strength. Brute strength. strength. Yeah. yeah. That's, that's great. You know, you, you know what you like. <laughs> I know what I like. <laughs> oh, all right. So we're going to wind this up. We're okay. going to wind it down, actually. Okay. If we were winding it up, it would have been the beginning, but we're going to wind it down. We're going to wind it down. Yeah. Well, this was great. I learned a lot about you. We have a lot of commonalities. We do. We do. That is, that's it's Boston commonalities. Boston common. Oh yeah. Wordplay. <laughs> Another commonality. <laughs> when you went from Indica to Indicate, I was, I was moved. That was good, right? It was. It was good. <laughs> <laughs> well, thank you for coming. Let everybody know how they can support you, where they can find you, how they can check out your music. Okay. Uh, it's at Zarface underscore SO on Instagram. And that's really all you need to know, I think. And Zarface dot com where you can buy the merchandise and the action figures and posters and, and magnets and dog leashes and dog collars and actually I gotta get Mabel a dog collar I'll leash. Order one for sure. Yeah. I love merch dude. All right. They call me the merch queen. Okay. This is from the Standard Hotel in Miami. Oh nice. Yeah. That's awesome. I'll buy merch from anywhere. I was in okay. Dubuque, Iowa. I got fucking laced up and I got a hat and a t shirt. Okay. Did All you right. leave with a mothership sweatshirt from the security guard? Nah, I left with that uh, HPV. Okay. <laughs> and that's what I'm going to name him. No. Um, thank you so much for joining us oh, on OnlyFans. Appreciate it. And you guys like, subscribe, email. Um, thanks for listening and watching. Peace. Throwing ass on the ground, getting laughs at the stand. Only she can, only feed hands. It's only, only, it's only feet. It's only feet.